Hello, and welcome to the Saturday Night Vorpal Board stream. Tonight, we are going to get a little bit out of our comfort zone of playing um, tabletop board games, and we're going to try to run a little demo of a tabletop role-playing game. And this role-playing game is called Solar Echoes that we're going to be playing tonight. But first, I will introduce the guests. With me, I have Andrea playing Hi. Paneros Antaki. And Mike playing Ushar Emsu. Hey, everybody. And um, all right, so so a quick bit about this this game. Uh, this is a role playing game created by Andy Mitchell, and it's from a few years ago. It's set in a sci fi universe. It's really well developed. It has um, a lot of different uh, species of aliens in it, and I believe Mike is playing kind of a gelatinous ball um, that has like katanas and stuff inside of it. Uh, and Andrea is playing kind of a bat creature, uh, but he's bipedal and he has uh, really big ears and is able to use echolocation. So the characters are all um, really varied. It's a cool system. It focuses a lot on tactical decision making. So it's not really like turn based. Everything kind of happens uh, all at the same time. We're all going to be declaring our moves at the same time. We're going to be declaring our actions at the same time. And they all sort of effect all at once. Uh, I'm going to be uh, GMing uh, this game. And this is the first time I've done that outside of with my uh, six and four-year-old children. So um, hopefully I don't make a complete ass of myself. Uh, but we're going to do our best. And if it's a beautiful mess, that's totally fine. Um, a couple things about gameplay. You'll see that each of the characters has three cards. Uh, those three cards are really just meant to keep track of uh, what actions they've taken during the round. So if one of you wants to just flip over a couple of them. Uh, there are three possible um, things that, that the players can do. They can take an action, they can take a movement, and they can do a reaction. And uh, all this does is lets the GMC what everybody's done so far. It's kind of like just a, a way to keep track of how everything is going. Um, and I think that's it. Um, Andy, the, the designer of the game, was nice enough to actually create a couple characters for us specifically for this session. And um, those are on RPG or uh, drive through RPG. Um, if you want to find out more about Solar Echoes, if you watch a little bit of this and you think it's cool, you can um, check them out on Drive Through RPG. You can just go search Solar Echoes, or you can go to SolarEchoes.com. Um, you can also find Andy on um, on on Twitter and all the normal places. He has potentially a Kickstarter coming up in the next um, probably six months. Um, I won't give any details about it because that's more his his game, um, and I don't think he's ready to announce anything one way or the other. But um, but uh, definitely follow him if you want to know more about this system and then future projects coming out of. Uh, the Solar Echoes universe. Okay. Everybody ready to rock? Absolutely. All right. So it. we're running a session. This demo is actually available, so and it's free. So if you go to Drive Through RPG, you can download it. You can play it yourself. Um, I think it supports like two to six players. We're gonna do it on the on the two side today. So we're gonna see if our players survive. Um, I'm gonna do my best to kill them. Um, but you know, no, no, no. I'm not gonna do my best. <laughs> I swear, I swear. Okay, here we go. Just as your team is finishing its patrol circuit, a call from Union Guard HQ flashes onto the view screen of your skim car. Your operations sergeant, Reg, immediately begins before you can even manage a greeting. You're the closest patrol to the Falston docks right now, and we need to act fast. Recent intel indicates that an arms deal is being conducted in a warehouse right now south side. I've sent coordinates to your nav already. It has been confirmed that our target is selling the new RF-60, a military-issue assault rifle, that should not be on the streets. The arms dealer is a realm named Mikanaratos, also known as Mikan. We need to find out who Mikan's source is, so we left him in play until now. Your team needs to apprehend Mikan and recover any data you can that will lead to his source. There may be additional targets present when you arrive, so you do have authorization to eliminate them should they pose substantial resistance. This is not a clean sweep, however. We prefer the capture of incapacitated targets for interrogation. You might be able to use the situation to create an intimidating environment to interrogate Mikan and gain new intel on his source. Mission priority is capturing Mikan alive. For some reason, the guy who dispatches you is like a 1930s gangster. But... <laughs> <laughs> But, okay, so, 
you guys are, are on patrol. Uh, you had now have a mission to go uh, break up this arms deal. Right. Um, Falston is a major port city on Rimshard, one of the three busiest in the merchant district. The south side of Falston docks is a labyrinth of freight containers and warehouses with little room in between. Falston docks is quite busy during the day as shipping containers are moved to and from starships at Vegas Starport, only about a 10-minute drive away. However, at night, Falston docks is eerily quiet once workers have left for the evening. Okay, so um, you guys need to decide who is actually going to be piloting your skim car. So you probably want to look, take a look at your character sheets, right. um, look for terrari- or terrestrial piloting um, abilities, and see, or excuse me, um, and see who kind of has the best uh, of the two of you, and you can decide who the pilot's going to be. So um, my character, I've got four for reflexes, so my check would be four dice, and then I already have a rank one. Um, so the rank one was the bonus that I get, correct, James? Uh, yeah. Correct. Yep. Okay. I I have the same. So. Oh, um, so you guys can you guys can duke it out as to who's. The yeah. Player. Well, the other thing it, that's interesting is they're also realm, which is what I am. Um, so that probably tells us something about their skill set. Mm. Yeah, that's. It's going to cool. be very similar to mine. Could be. Uh, Could be. Yeah. So, uh, one of the things that I'm really good with is. Uh, my sensitive ears Mm -hmm. so I imagine we're going to be doing a lot of uh, in you know soon listening listening (laughs) uh, distracting a lot of close listening yes well I mean we have to figure out who his source is so maybe maybe it would benefit us to kind of sneak in there and listen Um, I'll drive Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll happily pilot because, um, yeah, I mean, I might as well. We both have the same skills. So yeah, and I, I'm a, a sniper. Yeah. All right, Perfect. so um, Mike, can you give me a skill check on reflex? Got it. Okay. So the way so, skill checks work in this game is Mike's going to roll some d6s, and um, he'll take the highest result. Uh, because of his skill level, he's going to roll four d6s. All right, so I rolled six, two, three, and three. All right, so Ooh, so so he has one six. So his, so the t- the his base roll is a six, but then you have one skill inside that ability, right? So yeah, I have. Uh, oops, sorry, I hit the roll uh, roll dice again. Um, my yeah, I have rank one. For, All right, so that um, increases so your it increases your result to a seven. Oh wait, hold up, I messed up. I'm sorry. I said gunnery terrestrial. So I assume that means firing a Correct. Vehicle. Yep, there's okay, a piloting pilot terrestrial. Oh. terrestrial has none. I misread that, so maybe we should have had Trey. Okay, well, is it still, <laughs> is it still a four check, though? It's still a four check. Okay, so it's a six. All right. We'll yeah. pretend that was my role, Mike. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you, you made it. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> you made it. We yeah, made you, it. you made it. You made it. you made it fine. Okay, so you Perfect. have successfully navigated your skim car through the complicated maze of streets and shipping containers. Large freight containers line the shipyard in rows, some stacked upon others to form towering walls. The nav system in your squad car shows that you've located the correct warehouse. Nav data indicates that the warehouse itself is 100 feet by 50 feet and has a closed 30 foot wide garage door entrance for vehicles, an an external doorway on the east side of the warehouse, and a utility ladder to the roof. So here is the garage door. Okay. This is the warehouse. In this system, everything is built around a grid of one-inch squares. The one-inch squares are uh, five feet. So it, okay. this is a 50-foot by 100-foot um, warehouse. And I'm going to bring you guys down in your skim car, and you're oh, going nice. to arrive right over here. And then you have, Mike, that's your gelatinous blob. And getting out of the, Look at our little skim car. It looks so cute. <laughs> getting out of the other side of the <laughs> of the car is is your realm, Mike. So that's you on this side, and Andrea. That's your or this is Mike, uh, the gelatinous blob, right. and Andrea, the, the realm on the other side. Got okay. Um, and so to orient you a little bit, this is our um, this is our ladder uh, to the top Ooh. of the roof. Okay. And then this is a exterior door. If you remember, okay. there was a door on the east side. And then this is the garage door on the front of the warehouse. Did it say any? If none of the doors were open, correct? So it was all everything as we drove up. Or uh, you don't know one way or the other. Don't know. Okay. Oh, 
do so, some sneaking. So until yeah, you enter to. into a combat encounter of any kind, you have freedom of movement. So you don't have to worry about using your movement squares up until um, something happens with an enemy. Okay, so that means like one of my bonuses is that I'm a very sneaky character. Um, so I can move with a certain measure of stealth. Since uh, we don't have any, at least as far as we're aware, no, no um, villains or NPCs or anything out there, I can move freely. Right? Yeah, you guys can just discuss and say, oh, we want to move over here or whatever. Cool. Okay. Um, if you get into any sort of situations that I need to make you take a skill check of some kind, I will let you know. But until that point, you can ask questions, you can observe, you can kind of do yeah. whatever you like. Well, what do you think about um, going towards the roof there? At least one of us should, because, I mean, the garage or the front door or the, the one side door, I don't know. I would I'd be guessing that they would make some noise or at least that there might be people stationed there. Maybe there's a vantage point you can get from the roof and, like, look in or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, the only thing, so, you know, we have to try and – get somebody and bring him back mm -hmm. if we're both on the roof that's like a escape potential so we need to think about you well, know okay so that's interesting maybe i should go up to the roof because these people are realm is that uh yeah your race uh mick in the yeah mick in the guy that you're Micken looking for is, is a realm, realm right? correct so maybe i should try and go up to the roof that way who knows maybe you could pass off as a realm, you know, like somebody within the crew or something like that. Um, if I remember, aren't you like scarred or something uh, so that you can actually intimidate individuals? I yeah, yeah. Character sheet. So I'm terrible at influence, which is okay. why I feel like I should be sneaking around and trying not to uh, not to have to convince anybody of anything. So maybe I'll make my way up to the roof, and then you can explore the lower level, see if you see anything. All right. Well, I'll follow you to the roof, okay. or at least the ladder, and see what we see on the other side. Okay, perfect. All right, so you guys are going to head towards the warehouse? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so, so before, before you start actually walking closer than you are now, I would need you uh, both to do an awareness check. Awareness. All right, so let me check on this. Awareness check. All right, my awareness is a three, and I have a rank one, and then I also have an other one. Um, so I get a, I guess I automatically get a plus two to whatever my check is. Correct. Right? Yep. Okay. So I get to roll three dice. All right, I'll let. You let me go first. Yeah, go for it. Hey, so I got a six plus two. So All right, so you got a six plus two minus one for the one. So that's a seven. Oh, yeah, I forgot the minus So Mike's so is a seven. A Andrea, are you going to roll for your awareness check? Yep, my awareness is four. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh. So Dre has a four. Four. You have no bonuses on top of your awareness check? No bonuses. Okay, so Mike got a seven, Dre got a four. Um, you notice the slight whir of machinery and catch sight of a small movement in the direction of the warehouse. There is a robot near the entrance of the warehouse, a security model. It has not seen you yet, but is actively scanning the area. So I have a free action. I believe it's a robot ID. I can ID a robot and learn its weakness. That's in my talent section. Okay. Um, does that mean that I can apply this or I can use this action right now to find out a little bit more about this guy? Um, you are going to have to get into line of sight of the robot. Oh, okay. um, so you, you heard the robot's I noises, but you can't yet see it. Line oh. of sight rules are you need to be able to take a, an imaginary line from one square of your space okay. and hit one square of the other space, of the space of the thing you need to see. Without passing through anything that would block your vision. Smoke, solid objects, thick curtains, whatever. So that um, that uh, model that you put down by the garage, yep. that's where we heard the sound. Correct. Of. Yep. Um, well, I'm going to, Dre, I think I should move on down and see if I can get line of sight on that thing and try to identify what it is. Maybe we get a better sense for what we're dealing with. What do you Sounds think? good. Yeah. You want to cover me? 
<laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll cover know, you. I gotta hang out behind the by the uh, by your skin car or something like that in case you need to open fire. Yeah, so I'll cover myself over here by the car. All right, and then I guess I'll move down. All right, so line of sight, James. Could you explain that one more time? Yeah, so whatever square you're in, you just need to draw an imaginary line from any of the four corners of that square. Okay. And it needs to hit any of the four corners of the square that the that the enemy is in without intersecting something that would block your view. So if so, like so essentially, if you got here-ish, yeah, I sh I, I think be you'd be able, able to see. see I'd say like yeah. right here, right. This, yeah, you'd be uh, able to see from that square. Okay. Yep. Um, all right, and and I get to move five squares at a time, or is it free movement still? Um, until you enter into a combat phase, you can just do free movement. So, all right, I'll move right to that square, see if right. I can get a line of sight. Let's um, do it. Let me just see if there was, because I remember I had, like, the stealthy thing. I mean, I'm not, well, I'm, maybe I'll have to make a roll, and then I can apply the bonus. Okay, so I'll just move down there. Okay, so... Um, Mike, you need to do a stealth check. Okay. Um, and that's going to be rolled against the robot's awareness check. So I have a four stealth check, and then uh, my rank is one, and then I have an, uh, a other two, but I have two stars on it. So gain plus two to all ste stealth checks to move quietly. Uh, slither is the bonus. Is okay, this so you considered to be a slither? Uh, yeah, you you can yeah you're still slithering yeah that's fine. So I got to roll four dice. All right. So I rolled oh geez so Ooh. six minus minus two. Well no so it's have, it's just for the first one. Oh for the first so yep. six minus one so I have a five. Yep. But then I have a uh, plus one, plus two so eight. Okay so you have an eight and then I'm gonna roll an awareness check for my robot. Okay. Woo oh, the, the, robot. the robot actually just did like a couple shots of vodka and is unable to tell what's happening um okay so so, not aware. so you were able to approach the robot without being seen okay. but the robot is actively scanning the area so okay. it seems to you like if you remain in the line of sight of that robot you're going to be detected after this round okay but I get a free action to identify it yep. and uh, identify its weaknesses. So I'd like to use my free action to okay. identify its weaknesses. All right. So you do a, um, let's see, a cyber tech or engineering check. All right. So my cyber tech is a four logic. So I have, I basically have four dice. Yep. No bonuses. You can you can do cyber tech or engineering on that identification. Oh, sorry, or engineering. Oh, I'm gonna do engineering because okay. I got a plus one for engineering. Um, all right, so I will do four dice. I already had that set up, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. So five uh, was my top score, and I got plus one, so six. All right, so the robot is a B three security drone modeled after a four-legged creature for increased mobility and stability. Humans liken the drones to dogs, though most other races consider them to be walking tanks. Built for speed, B3 drones are fast and effective robot guards, capable of sprinting with sudden bursts. B3s are usually equipped with a stun cannon and a, and a submachine gun. However, the, the B3 suffers from a minor design weakness. Its sensors are overreactive to bright, concentrated light which negatively affects its weapon accuracy hmm. so if we get i guess if we needed to we could toss like a flash grenade or something like that which i think i have i have an emp i have one emp flash grenade i don't want to use that right now um i don't know dre what do you think should we try and sneak around see if we can go up you know and walk around the warehouse down that yeah warehouse, maybe around the top the northern side do we we know the robot's fast? Do we know how fast it moves? Um, I no, you don't know how fast it moves. I mean, it definitely moves faster than a human would move. I mean, okay. This is a a big. I mean, I know the, the our, our miniature doesn't seem like a giant uh, walking sure. tank, but um, but yeah, this is a, a a significant defense droid. Okay, I don't I don't want to scrap with it. Um, I personally don't. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Um, so 
I'm still in the free movement. I can still free move. Yeah, around. until you've been detected. So if you stay in his line of sight, you're 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 going to okay. be detected. Now, if you're moving around, since he is scanning the area, you're going to continue to have to do stealth checks against his awareness. Okay. Um, and he is that only if we're in his line of sight or at all times? At all times, because he has he has audio. Oh, um, okay. Going just to try to detect. Um, you don't know what his patrol path is going to be either that, that yeah, you haven't sure. you haven't been able to observe him long enough to tell okay um well in that case i say we try to get up to the northern side and um try to move around the warehouse let's see if we can get up there or get out of line of sight and maybe we'll be able to hear where he goes yeah okay. let's uh let's do that okay all right uh i'm gonna move up then um do we ever choose who goes first uh no so so moving it you can just both do it at the exact same time oh and then so everything like... everything gets applied at once okay so should we where is this the ladder right here yes yeah. this is the ladder now the interesting thing is is since he is actively listening for you what mm -hmm. you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to use your movement points so we can actually tell how frequently you need to do a stealth oh, yeah, check sure. mm -hmm. um so even though you guys aren't in like an in combat encounter quite yet, um, we have to know how far you can get per round so that you can reroll your stealth. Yep. Okay. Okay. So uh, it's five squares, correct? Uh, yeah, I think you both have movement of five. Yeah. yeah. And then you can use one stamina point to sprint, which doubles your movement. But if you run out of stamina, you can't do it anymore. Your stamina will refresh after combat. Do okay. you know if that eliminates my stealthy movement? To do uh, yeah, you have to be moving at a slow pace at to a, get at your a benefit. Normal pace yes. to, okay, got it. All right. Um, well, let's see. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to sprint right yet. I can't yeah. even know where he's going. He could move the other direction. Um, so... Am I technically on the board? Am I going to start like here as one? No, no. I You know, like the map that I printed out only was this size. But like this okay. is this is the surrounding streets or whatever. So you're on the board where you stand. Okay. So we'll say it's like two. This is yeah, well, one, you got to walk two. around behind it. Right. You can't just hop over the car, you know. I could go through the car. <laughs> open right? open the doors, car door. Doors are open, <laughs> waiting for us. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we both can't make it up there. So Dre, I don't know. Why don't you see if you can get? Why don't you go first and see if you can get some line of sight down the down the long the long stretch and see if you see anything. All right. I'm gonna. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll move here. Okay. Okay. And then can you give me a stealth check? All right. Stealth is a three die. Hmm. All sixes. Mark of the beast. Here we go. So a five yeah, is your total. A five. And then yeah. I'm going to do an awareness check. And you're you're still you're still good. He hasn't noticed you, so he's just scanning okay. away. Good, good. Okay, she gets one move, right? Yeah, so she did her move action. Okay. So like theoretically, Dre, like you would flip over the move action. Oh, and okay. then, and then you, that's fine, that's fine. And then you could take an action here. So if we were in a combat encounter, you could do stuff like shooting at him talking right. to him um you can do simple actions like opening doors and all that sort of stuff if they're complicated um right. but but right now i don't think there's there. much for you to actually do up there yeah no can i move to, can we move diagonally uh i believe so yes okay so i'm gonna move um let's see one two what's that one two three four five right there okay and then you can do do a stealth check. Okay. And my stealth rating is four, and I get plus three. So I can't remember if I, what, what I had wrong. Yeah, I had wrong. Roll dice. Ugh. So a three. Ooh. Plus three. So, so it's a six. A oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So you are okay, because you need to meet or exceed. Ah, so you were both sixes. Right. Ooh, um, good so for me for those for my uh, my bonuses. It's, it's yeah, my seriously. My slither because I'm a gelatinous blob. So you're you 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 can still kind of hear that the droid is moving about, or okay. actually 
we shouldn't use droid george lucas might be listening and watching um the drone you uh you, you can still hear that the drone is moving about but you, you you're not close enough to really be able to sense where the drone is mm. how chances are maybe then it's moved a little bit farther away from us i don't know i don't know okay i say we keep going dre we keep going with our original plan yeah right all right here we go all right so where are you headed uh, we're going around the north side. So one, I'm gonna stick stick by the wall. Do you think there's like cameras or anything over here, Mike? Uh, can we look? I mean, do we see cameras on any of the walls in front of us, James? Uh, you can look. You don't see any cameras. This really okay. looks like kind of a dilapidated warehouse. Uh, okay. It's okay. the type of place where if you were going to run a arms deal, um, uh, you wouldn't want people to think that there was any defenses around. Yeah, something going on there. Okay. All right. I don't know. I say we keep sneaking up along the way. All right. Let's see what happens. Um. Sounds good. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll move over here. That's my movement. Okay. I think I got you to the right square. All right. So I will. And then do a stealth check. Five. 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 You survived it, so he still, oh, he still hasn't noticed. You guys are just, just. Yeah. You're Ooh. walking along, and you kicked a rock, and then you looked right. back at Mike, and then he didn't appear. So you're still exactly. good. <laughs> good. All right, I'm gonna move one, two, three, four. I'm gonna uh, move right there. Okay. Because I can do a, two diagonals, right? Yep. So, yep. Okay. So wait, did you get around the corner or? Yeah, I did. Okay, one, cool. One, two, three, four, and then five. So I'm right here on the square. Just put me at one more. Actually. Yeah, I got you. All right, so go ahead and stealth. You're still slithering. Ugh. So Ugh. I got six minus two, or minus one, so I have a five, but, but I have a, a plus three is eight. Yeah, so you're, you're still good. Even He got a seven, so it's Seven, close. oh my yeah. god. Oh, you would have to roll three sixes. Oh, wow. But even then, if you had an eight, you would you, I still would have matched Yep. It. Okay, so eight's the best level for me. I right. Or you can too, Dre. All right, so uh, do we see anything uh, on this area, or is it still just along the north house? side of the of the warehouse? You don't see anything really. Um, you know from your nav map that there is the doorway on the east side, um, but you don't see any way into the warehouse from the north side. Okay. Dre, um, you can stay in front. But I think when we get to the end of it, I should slither out and see if maybe I can sneak around that okay. way. What, I don't know. Do you have anything that would let you? Can you use your... Um... Yeah, so I can um, use my echolocation to nice. determine the location of objects six squares from us. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's let you go front then. Cause yeah, so maybe once we get to the corner, I'll, uh, mm -hmm. I'll do that. Cool. Keep, keep okay. going forward then. All right, five more spaces. Okay. All right, and then Mike, you just followed up behind her. I am gonna, I am gonna follow behind. All right. Checks though. Oh, oh yeah, Dre rolls her check. She's got a six, and is undetected. Ooh. And Mike's gonna move up. One, two, three, four, five, and then Mike, you can stealth check. You're you're very stealthy, so you have a ten yeah. there. Oh yeah, yeah. super right stealth. There. And the robot's not doing too hot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Good work, robot. So, robot's going to move. Well, um, now we're in a new phase. Okay. And drone, uh, and drone is actually... The drone appears walking around the corner. Uh-oh. Of so, course it does. So now he's used his movement. He's You're in his, his line of sight. And he says, in a very robotic voice... Unauthorized life forms detected. Please remove yourself from the premises. This is your only warning. Hmm. He has a stun cannon aimed at Andrea. Great. Um, so, I wonder, is there a game, Can is there any even possibility of influencing a robot? Uh, I do not think that the robot has the type of artificial intelligence that would let you persuade right. with it. It's uh, a drone. Okay. It's, it's a drone that's programmed to, to do its its thing. 
Dre, let's sprint around. Now that we know where he is, we can we could sprint move and run back the other way. Not toward him, but like, how many squares can we get? We get double the movement, and if we just keep hugging the wall, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we can yank around the corner. And then if we have to fight him, we'll fight him. But I don't know. Do you want to fight him, or you want to try? If we fight him right now, people inside might hear us. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking but, too. So okay. I'm. I'm with you. Let's do it. You with me? Yeah. That? All right. So what did what were the sprint rules again? We have so to you can go double your point? double your movement distance, but you use a stamina point. Okay. Right. And, and if you look on your character sheet, there's a stamina amount. Yeah, it's at the top, right? Right. And stamina is used for a couple different things. Um, sprinting is one, but also if you get knocked down, like you get shot down, it's how many rounds you'll have left. Um, in or before you bleed out before somebody has to come and heal you okay um and then it also can be used to like bump up dice rolls and stuff there are other kind of clever uses for it i'm not i'm not sure if we'll run into any of those but but the big one for you guys is if you sprint you can only do it so many times so well, but it then, it's refreshed after we battle at the end attack. of combat okay at the end of combat so you have to be so, out of the combat encounter before it'll refresh okay so the other thing, Mike, is we could sprint, but this robot has, like, super speed. Oh. Yeah, you mean so maybe sprinting would, would actually make him think, like, we're running away or something? Yeah. I say we walk away and then sprint to get to around the next corner. Fine with that. See what happens. We'll, yeah. We'll actually, he's telling us to leave. He's got a stun gun pointed at us. So, well, yeah, let's just start walking away and see what happens. Okay. okay. All right. So I will go. Uh, well, well, um, you can move first if you want. She can walk around me, right? Drake can. You walk can go walk me. right through him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You just can't end on the same square. Okay. Can you get? You can't. You can't clear the corner. Yeah, right? I you can't can clear away. the corner. Okay. Uh, I'm telling the robot that I'm leaving, and Ooh. I'm I'm walking away. Good idea. Okay. Which way are you going? Uh, the other way. Okay. Away from the robot. One, two, three, four, five. This is just a big game of tag that we're playing with this. Yeah, apparently, this yeah. We're going to have to fight this guy. Yeah. Okay, Mike, what is your plan? I am going to walk five squares, okay. and I'll also tell the robot that I'm leaving. So one, two, three, four, five. It gets me to the corner. Okay. Um, so, I've... go ahead. Does our uh, car have any supplies or any armor? Um, yeah, the skim car, it has a hull. Um, it has decent armor. It has a rotary cannon on top of it, hmm. which is a ballistic weapon. Um, and it has an EMP net, and uh, which is an energy weapon that you, you can fire from the front of the car. And... Um, that's about it as far as usage is from a weapons perspective. Does it have a uh, super duper high beams that would um, it distract? Does, it, it, it has headlights, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious if we, you know, if, uh, if it's reporting this back to, we didn't think about that, right? Yeah. Did it just, did it just let everybody know that there's some two, three foot guys or you know okay uh, so walk. the robot is pursuing you okay uh very very fast so it exhibits okay. a burst of speed it keeps uh droning on that's a pun there uh droning yeah. on hey. uh about how you need to leave the area immediately uh or if um if you're armed it will implement uh lethal countermeasures okay so, um, what is the range on an EMP grenade? On an flash EMP bang. grenade? EMP flash. I have an, I have in my inventory. Okay. I have. Does it have a, a range listed? EMP flash grenade. It doesn't have a range. Oh wait, sorry, it does. Range six. Okay. Blast three. But what is what does that mean? It means I can throw it up to six spaces and then you can target yeah, so you can target up to six spaces and then uh -huh. you actually like let's say you wanted to throw it like right here, right? Yep. It would it would target that space 
mm -hmm. with a um, with a skill check of eight. And if you miss that space, you then roll a die to see in which direction it misses. Okay. And then wherever it lands based on that bounce is where the center of the impact will be. What it, why is the skill check of eight? Uh, because you're just it, essentially it's just saying it's hard to hit with a grenade exactly where you threw it. Okay. So you I'm, would then roll your um, ranged combat. Uh, and, simple ranged weapons? Yep, simple ranged weapons. Okay. And then you would be shooting to get an eight or above with that. To hit um, directly there. I mean, the, the grenade's still going to go off. Yeah. It's just that if you don't roll that eight, it'll bounce in some direction. So basically, put like pinpointing exactly where I want it to go, mm -hmm. that, that makes me happy. Too. Yep. Okay. Now, what happens if it blasts and it's within range of us? Uh, what type of damage does it say it does? It, just okay. electrical damage? Um, hold up. EMP is a 4 damage AP1. So I'm assuming that's armor piercing one. Yep. So it would hit you. If it, alright. If target in center of blast blinded one round. Yep. That's the... So uh, if you're able to specifically hit him dead on, then it would blind him. Okay. Hmm. So the drone's uh, droning is becoming more intense. So you have the feeling that if you don't get away from this thing real quick, uh, it's going to start opening fire on you. All right. I'm, I'm throwing a grenade. I'm, I'm, I'm running a... Uh, what are you going to do? I was going to run to the car and we can play with some of the car weapons. And like get on, like get on the... Uh, what is it? The gun? The rotary gun? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if I can at least blind this thing. I'm, th I'm going for the, that skill check. Okay. okay, so Mike, you haven't used the movement this round, right? I have not. Neither of us have moved yet. Okay, so can you flip your card over? That's one thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to flip it That's back. Fine. That's fine. Um, so how about, I t how about I throw the grenade first and see what happens? We actually and got then... a clarification from the chat, too, is that every square away from the center of the blast damage drops off one oh, per square okay. away. Makes sense. Oh. Okay, cool. So I am going to throw um, if I throw the grenade and I target him, it's a blast of three. So does that mean it's It would be one, squares? two, three. It, you, okay. uh, Andrea would be in the, in the so blast range. I'm going to put it... I'm, I'm well, while well, Mike is getting ready, can I uh, sprint to the car? Oh, wait, she can run first, yeah, run. can't she? Yep. Go, yeah, run. Get out okay. Of here. So I'm, I'm running to the car. Okay, so you're gonna are you gonna use your stamina? Yeah, I'll need to to get there. Okay. So you'll I think make it. Yeah, I think it was seven. Yeah, you make maybe. It. And then you can with just sort of a simple action open up and get into cars. Okay. So so you can be in in the car at the end of this uh, action. Perfect. Yeah, and that and that doesn't take your action. Oh, that, that doesn't. Yeah, that's, it's, uh... it's simple enough. Like opening a door that's unlocked and stuff like that d doesn't count as a full action. Okay, perfect. So, Mike, where are you going? I am throwing a grenade. At the, are you moving? Um... Well, but it, are you moving in this phase or not? Can you like uh, throw wait, it while you're? you're... You, I'm sorry. You you can only you can only choose between movement and action. Well, we're in. We're we're sort of declaring our movements all right now, and then those will be executed and then actions. Oh, I see. All but right, you can, so, I mean, you could stand your ground and throw the grenade. Wait, but hold up. I've got to see how far I can get away. I mean, in reality, all those, those would be one grenade? one big action. What was the grenade's range so I can throw it? It was a range of six, squares. I believe. Yep. So I'm going to put some distance between me and this guy. So I'm four away, five away. Oh, I can only put one square away. All right. So the robot can tell that you're pulling a grenade out of your pocket. Okay. Uh, and the stun cannon uh, is being put away, and the submachine gun is now aimed at you. Perfect. So it appears that this uh, robot is going to open fire with his uh, his submachine gun. You gotta move faster, Mike. Oh, I'm throwing the grenade. I'm throwing the grenade. Okay, on. so you're not moving. Yeah. Uh, well, I, can I move one square and then throw the grenade? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll move one square and then I'm throwing the grenade at him. Okay, so uh, Mike's going to throw the grenade. Dre, um, 
So, Mike, you've declared your uh, yep. action. Dre, are you doing anything in the car? Um, let's see. I don't have line of sight of the guy. No, no, you're no. not. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to do anything for okay. now. And then the drone is going to fire on the putrescent slime. The uh, Omel here. Okay. So then the way that this system works is that like every single like action is meant to be like four seconds in real world time. So we're moving through slowly, but like the idea is that all this stuff is just sort of like happening real fast, right? And so when we have the actions and we all have our actions apply, even if let's say I died, Mike, my action still hits because they're all happening at the exact same time. Yeah, I see what you mean. Right. Um, and okay. so I'm going to have so my I'm action a grenade and it's shooting at me. Correct. At the exact same time. Gotcha. Yep. So, and then we can choose kind of whatever, whatever order we want to execute those actions. So if you want to, if you want to throw the grenade, have at it. Can I, um, have Mike do a refresh oh, yeah, real quick? Sure. Why what did you, you mean like before you, did you lose Mike? Yeah. Okay. Mike, Hey Mike, I think Dre actually lost your video connection. Do you want to do a quick refresh? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Hold up one second. There you have it. This is, uh, I'll take this moment to remind everybody that this is beta software. So every once in a while, we have drop connections and stuff that occur. Perfect. Um, but Mike's back. Okay, so you're going to, you're gonna Mike, it'll take probably a couple seconds for all the yeah, it's refreshing cards and stuff to refresh. But you're going to, you're going to throw the grenade. And are you targeting directly on him? Uh, yeah, because it is a blast of one, two, three. Yep. Yep. Directly okay. So then you just do a uh, a simple ranged weapon skill check. All right, so my simple ranged weapon is a four dice roll, and I have a plus one. So let me just make sure I oh, add all the bag. I got to refresh those guys here real quick. Sorry. So I rolled a six Ooh. minus one. Uh-oh, I rolled uh, what I get. Damn, I think I missed it by one. Uh, no, I got a, um, a five. I got a six. Six total. Okay, so um, missed you it. you missed it, but yep. you roll again. You just roll a d one d six, and that will deter- that will determine in which direction it bounces. A five. So it is going to bounce beyond by one. Oh, good. So he's still in range. And okay. it's going to land right here. Damn, he's not in the center of the blast though. That's too bad. Uh, correct. And so so the grenade lands. Um, so the grenade itself does four damage AP one. Down, I wanted to, I wanted him in the center square of the So he blinded. Too yep. bad. He was blinded. So um okay, so so one thing that was pointed out in chat also uh, from 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 Andy is that I didn't actually mention is this reaction card you guys have? Mm. Uh-huh. Um, in this case, Mike, this is like the time where you can use it to interrupt my action to say, I'm going to dive for cover. Oh. Okay. So you still throw your grenade. The action okay. still happens. But then you can use your reaction. So I've already played my action. Yeah, so action's fine. But like when, as soon as I said, oh, yeah, I'm targeting you, yeah, you can do a reaction. dive for cover. If, if you had, there are some skills that are even like better than dive for cover, like sidestep and stuff. I don't know if you have any of those skills in your character. I have, I'm a, well, I have a poor jumper, but um, there, I thought I had something, but I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look for it. Okay. Go ahead. Um, but need... essentially, that lets you get a benefit in your defense role for when I attack. Right. So a uh, sidestep, I have a sidestep talent, which allows me to move one and get plus one range dodge. Okay. So yeah, so then the so the sidestep is better than a, a jump for cover because when you jump for cover, you end up prone. Yeah, I'm also a poor jumper. And then so to get to get back <laughs> Blobs up. Blobs aren't very good. Right. To get yeah. back up, you waste your whole movement doing that the next yeah. round. So right. since you have a sidestep, you can move one, mm-hmm. gain one for your range dodge. Um, mm-hmm. From when I attack you, so you're going to okay. go around the corner. Yeah, I'm going to go around the corner. Okay, so there you've you've done your you've done your dodge. Um, now the one thing I am unsure of that I'm just looking up real quick is um, if I get to. I don't think I get to dodge a grenade. 
So I think that you know your grenade hit and is going to do damage to me. Oh, yeah, um, we really wanted to blind him though. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so okay, so what was the what's the damage total, Mike? Four damage, one uh, AP. Okay, but it here. but it it drops off every one square away from so the blast three, radius. Three damage. So it'll be three damage and uh, one armor piercing. Mm -hmm. um, this drone has. Oh oh wait wait wait. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I was looking. Okay, sorry, go ahead. All right, so this drone has armor of one with, um, so one of, is it, it totally ignores uh, that armor. And so you do, your full three damage goes through to the, uh, to the drone. Okay. Can I tell? Did it, like, look like it, it's taken seriously? Um, it took a shot. Um... Um, you, you you took a shot like you actually you hit it for sure I mean it's sure. it, it hasn't it hasn't degraded in any way or lost any of its systems capabilities as far oh, as you boy. can tell so much for hmm. my EMP so much for blind damn it I don't want yeah. to blind it okay oh, so now I'm going to attack you with um, a submachine gun okay and uh, that means that I'm going to roll a firearms check just like you guys would and that's with a uh, strength or reflexes. So I get to do four die. And then Mike, you're going to roll a reflexes check to uh, dodge. To dodge, okay. So I rolled a five as my top. And now you get to roll a reflexes check. So mine is ranged dodge. Yep. So I have a three okay. plus one dodge value. And then plus one and more for plus, your for your your, your sidestep. Is it plus one or plus two? Oh whoops, I'm on the wrong page. I scrolled down to uh, Grace. No, it's plus one. So I have actually a four. A four plus one point plus another point for my range dodge. So oh you have a four, four for your range dodge? I thought you said yeah, you had three. I'm oh you were looking at Trey. Okay. I was looking Okay, so I have a five coming at you. All right, so I got to roll four dice. Oh, nice. Well, the, 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 those cancel out, so I rolled a six plus two is eight. Okay, so I missed. Right. So you, you dove to cover and that worked. Right on. Okay. Damn, now everybody knows we're here, Dre. We uh, it, it was defin yeah. de deafeningly loud, yes. Um, okay, so I think we're on a new round. Yes. So is that deafeningly loud to the point where my hearing is impaired? No, it's not a sonic attack or anything like that. No. Okay. Sounds right, well, good. We gotta take this guy's gonna come after us, so we gotta take him out. So I gotta check my weapons and see what I can do here. And I still can't see him yet, right? Right. From inside the car. Uh yeah, you're sitting, I assume, in the driver's side, which we can only assume is um, oh, Mike, a, a good note came in from chat that robots take double damage from EMP grenades. Oh, oh, oh thanks, so, chat. Thank, <laughs> yeah, thanks, chat. I love this chat. Uh, yeah, way. yeah, just keep yeah. the chat, keep, keep the chats coming. Still, um, it was it was a significant damage to the robot, but it, it appears, as far as you can tell, he's still functioning at um at full full systems. At full hmm. systems. Full All systems. Right. So hold up, I gotta check my uh, my character sheet out. And so Dre, is that where you're sitting? You're sitting in the driver's side. Yeah. We can only assume that in this far flung future space opera that they drive the skim cars on the left hand side of the, the skim car. So, so you're in that square. This is um, yeah, this is like Back to the Future style car. That's what, what I'm, I'm hoping here. Oh, Back to the Future episode two. Yes. Or or, or like or. <laughs> Or is this uh is this one of those hatchbacks? <laughs> what is what is what's what's the what type of car it's is DeLorean. that? DeLorean. DeLorean. Yeah. 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 Sure. Um, okay. So the um the the robot is going to pursue you. Mike. Okay. So I'm, well, I'm going to. Um, he's headed to this square. Um, so I was looking through my character sheet. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my Phoenix pistol against it full full power. So I'm gonna step forward one, take a shot at him with my Phoenix pistol. Does Mike get in the way of my shots? 
Um, it will cause a yes, it does, and there's a chance that you hit him. Oh. But but the bullets Wait. would continue through and do damage to the to the target. So you can, you would you don't want to shoot, shoot through you don't want to shoot through friends. Can, okay. Is there an Overwatch? Is there an Overwatch rule in this where she could just be like ready to fire or something, or she has to declare? There is a action called ambush that mm. if you give up your action or you give up your movement, you can essentially lie in ambush with your action. And then when the actual ambush occurs, which is essentially the next round, you um, you give up your action and movement. What do you think about, Dre, if I step forward one, take a shot with my Phoenix pistol, and then, and then do my reactio on my sidestep and try to do okay. whatever comes? No, that sounds good. Then to range, you ambush him. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that then, uh, uh, James. I'm going to step step up one okay so mike stepping up one and at the same time the robot is closing the distance uh dre is getting is sitting in ambush is that right dre yeah i'm getting ready to uh snipe him from the car window from the car window okay which okay um and then mike what is your what are you going to do you're going to shoot him with a pistol shoot him with my pistol so my phoenix pistol has a range of seven and the damage of three uh, my free action, I get a free action with the Phoenix Pistol. I can set it to a damage of one through three. So I'm setting it for a full three. It basically allows me to stun somebody if I want to. Um, I, that's what I read about the Phoenix Pistol. So, uh, But I'm putting it on max. I'm going to kill this thing. Okay, so so I got a clarification on the ambush. It's used as a reaction to a oh. uh, to opponent's movement. So you can use your reaction to ambush. Um, it costs the user their action when it's declared, so you wouldn't have an action, and plus his action and movement that round. So, so she can't move. Basically. Yeah, I mean, right. I don't plan on moving. Right. But right. Um, I guess the question is, is, is it applicable in this situation? Yeah, so, this like, he, he moved, and then I could yeah. see him. Correct. It would be a reaction to this movement. Right. And it costs the user his action when it is declared. Declared. And then plus his action oh, yeah. and movement on the ambushing round. Okay. Okay. It, is this the ambushing round? Be, yeah. Could she get an opportunity to ambush? Did his movement, the robot's movement? Well, it doesn't seem like I think. I think it would have to be next round. Because, oh, next round. Okay. Because then you have I, to. I it's spent, you have to spend your action and movement to actually do the okay. ambush. So this round, Dre, you would with a reaction to the robot's movement, get mm -hmm. ready to ambush the robot. And right. when you declare that you're going to ambush the robot, it costs your action as well. Right. And then when you go to actually do the ambush, it will take both your action and movement, which would happen next round. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll I'll just have a regular snipe round. Can you do a regular attack? Because I'm going to yeah, try and get yeah. out of the way after I shoot him with my pistol. So. Right. Take your chances. I mean, we got to kill this guy. So. All right. So, Dre, are you declaring that an action is that you are firing? Uh, after Mike jumps out of the way. I don't think I that think it works all, that way. It, oh, okay. 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 So, so the well, so the risk so, is the risk is that you would you would potentially shoot Mike. Okay. With full okay. damage. What, what? How much damage can you do with your weapon? Um, uh, that's a great question. Where is that? And you can aim if you want to. You can give up your movement to do an aim. Oh, does it give her a bonus? It does. It gives it's you a, a plus one to attack. It, yeah, it's a five damage, and it's armor piercing. And my, I have an armor value of two, hardness two. Um, okay. Uh, well, I already declared what I'm doing. So I, it's it's up to you. I've already declared that I move forward and I took a shot, and this guy's coming at me. If you want to take yeah. a shot, go for it. If you want to wait until you um, sit now, can I? He could move, and you could take him down like right away. Well, what what is the car movement like? Can I drive this car to a better position? Um, I believe you can. Hold on, let me get you the details of the car movement. 
turn the high beams on him. Boy. Yeah. All right, so the skim car has a speed of 140, and I didn't read too much up on uh, on on um, vehicular on distances just because I didn't I didn't expect you to get into the skim car. But here we go. But it, surprise, I, yeah. You could you you could do a, a piloting terrestrial check to yep. get the skim car aligned with the robot if that's what you were attempting to do. Yes. Okay. Um, piloting terrestrial check yep. is a four, and I also, it's plus one. Okay. Nice. Maybe you'll get a, you'll be able to get So you're doing this as your action this turn? Uh, is, so it's not a movement? Right, this would be your action to position it into a, into the position. Okay. That's fine because if you blind it, maybe it can yeah. take the shot that it wants. Right. Or so it I will. Prepared. Whoosh! Here we go. Oh, I got a one, but I um, it's a plus one. Okay, so you got a five. You peel out a little bit and wiggle the steering wheel uh -huh. slightly, but my car needs new tires, so <laughs> you are <laughs> able to slide it right into position towards towards the enemy. Nice. And I assume you've turned on the the lights. Yes, I've turned can, can on I the lights. Can I assume that? Well, they're, they're I could be very bad. I could have been very bad. pedantic and said, <laughs> "Oh, she forgot to turn on the lights." No, but no that was all lights. set up beforehand. Okay. All right. So now we're going to be dealing with our with our actions. Okay. Um, Wait, you said that was my action. No, me and Mike. Oh, you yeah. guys are dealing with your actions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my action card. So Ooh. I need to just look real quick. Um, okay, so he will suffer a minus one penalty to his attack as long as the light is shining on him. Nice. So, um, Mike, I'll attack you first. I mean, the order, of okay. course, doesn't really matter, but um, I'm going to do a range. Remember, I would plan to sidestep. So. Yeah, you're okay. well. You're you're using your reaction. So essentially, you can flip yeah. over your reaction yep. as a, a result of my result of my action. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, fire on you. Which is a four. And so that's a five. Okay, and I have. Except uh, it's minus one, so it's a four. Four. I have a range dodge. I have four dice roll plus one plus one, so four plus two. Uh, should I have a four on? Nope. So I got a four six. I got okay. a six. Okay. All right, so you do successfully dodge out of the way good and i don't do any damage to you and okay, then no, you I'm are executing pistol. your pistol at the same time yep and my pistol is um simple ranged weapon no firearms i do firearms combat check correct yeah so it's four dice plus one so i got a seven okay and then i'm going to do my Dodge of a six, so the the damage does get through. How much how much damage are you doing? Three points of damage. Um, three points of damage. Is it ar armor piercing or just regular? No armor piercing. It's okay. Regular. So oh, um, I should use my katana against this thing since I'm right up next to it. <laughs> so two two of the damage do get through, um, and the armor eats eats the rest of the damage, um, and you notice that. There's some definite sparking and a little bit of flames Ooh. coming from the uh, coming from the drone. So nice. you you appear to have impaired some of its systems. Okay, all right. So now I can flip my reaction back. Uh, I never flip my action card, so sorry about that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's I fine. did my movement though too because I already moved. I had to move one square up. Uh, correct, correct. Okay. That take care of all of us for this turn. Uh, that takes care of everybody. Yep. Joe, yeah. Do you get your stamina point? Does Dre get her stamina point back? No, that's that's for the um. That's I haven't for the completed an attack once or... combat is done. Uh, combat. Once right. we're out of combat. combat. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah, we're in another round. All oh, right. Well, I'm I'm next to him, so I'm meleeing him. Okay. Because um, I, get a, I get a bonus. 
with melee. I'm not gonna move at all. I'm just gonna. Can I assume I can uh, melee diagonally, James? Yeah, I believe that's fine. Okay, it's called Shoot Strike. It's my attack action. It gets. I get an. I get a draw attack, and it gives me a plus one melee. Okay. So I am not gonna move at all. Um. Oh wait, could I? I could move after my attack, right? No. No. All right. So I'm just gonna attack here. I'm gonna. I'm so gonna, you're not. I'm you're gonna, gonna give up your movement. And the uh, robot is going to be moving here. Okay. Well, well how does that work with my katana? Attack? So I I declare that I'm moving. <clears throat> I declare I'm moving in this direction, which is kind of. So the way it's supposed to work, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll clarify that now, is that once you declare, you're That's kind of it. locked into what you're going to do, and then you can okay. do reactions to other declarations, right? So if, okay. Mike, you say, I'm not going to move, I'm declaring I'm not going to move, then I can say, well, I'm going to get the hell out of range because I don't want you to attack me with your katana. Yeah, I know, but, like, I declared first. Like, well, like, right, and there there is a rule actually to like deal with if you come to an impasse of like yeah. nobody wants to declare what you're going to do. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm just, then I'm then ready the to go the, to the DM can like say no. Now we actually have to declare, and here's the order in which you're going to declare. Well, a hey, Dre, now you know. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is, well, I'm gonna uh, snipe him. Smoking. I mean. Yeah. Okay, so he's I, um... so he's moving so he's moving here. Yep. Dre, what are you doing? Oh yeah. Are you I'm, declaring uh... movement? I am not moving. I'm going to snipe him again from the uh, driver's window. Okay. I can't do anything, unfortunately. I was looking at my reaction talents to see if I could uh, switch something, but El Jefe Tacoma. Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, we're liking the game. We're we're getting we're getting through it. None of us have ever played it before, so. Um, the, my, my player characters here are dealing with a pesky, um, security pat drone. patrol, okay. patrol drone. Um, B5, seven or something. Yeah. The B, the B3, I think B3. Yep. That looks like a dog. Okay. So Mike, you're not moving. Dre, what are you doing? I'm sniping him through the window. Okay. So you could, if you, as a hint, you could use your movement and aim, which gives you plus one to your attack. Hmm. If you don't Go want to use it. your movement, if you just want to sit still. Um, well, here's a question. Hmm. Does that, for when I use a movement in the car, does that mean I get out of the car? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that, yeah, you, you're you not going to get out of the car. You're going to sit in the car. If you don't move, right. you get a plus. You can say, I want to aim, and then you get a plus one to your attack. Go for it. Oh, okay. No, you I thought something. moving meant that I had to get out of the car. Well, oh. if you were to move, you would be getting out of the car. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. yep. So you're just going to sit still, and you could shoot out shoot out from that window but you then and if you if you don't move you can say i'm aiming and instead of moving you get a plus one to your attack okay i'll do that okay yep yep all right so mike i am shooting at you okay i'm gonna do a react okay um my reaction is gonna be the um sidestep move okay. one get plus one so you'll be headed in this direction um no i'm actually gonna move myself slightly closer to you okay you're gonna move to here that's yeah. gonna be your sidestep okay and then um your what are you declaring for your action i already declared uh my melee katana no 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 so so you actually don't have to i moved away from you so because i, I knew you wanted else? to do that but that okay. doesn't you don't have to lock in your action until after movement phase so, oh. so you can now say, I'm just going to shoot him with my pistol. Shoot him. I'm going to shoot you with my yeah. pistol. Then. Okay. So Mike's shooting with his pistol. I'm shooting you with my machine gun. Dre, you have aimed, and you're shooting at me with your sniper rifle. Yes. Right on. Yeah, we're all and, and, oh, and, sorry, I only have one weapon. And Mike is sidestepping. Um, okay. So, Mike, I'm going to shoot at you just so we can okay. we can deal with that. Um, and are you sure, now that you know the rules, that you want to sidestep towards me? Um... I, no, actually, I'm not going to. I'll sidestep. I'll sidestep right here. Okay, sounds good. One away. All right. So I think Dre uh, and I got you covered with uh, firearms. Yeah. All right. So I am attacking you, and I attack you with uh, with four dice. Okay. Um, and the lights are so I got a five. The lights are still on me, so it's knocked down to a four. 
and yeah. um, I am degraded, so it's actually knocked down to a three. Okay. Oh. My range dodge is four dice plus one plus one, so four plus two. Oh, so I got a five, seven, but right? a plus two is seven. Okay, so you dodge, no damage. Why not? And then, um, Mike, do you want to execute your pistol fire? Sure. My pistol fire, if I remember, is still uh, four plus one. So roll the dice. I got a six plus one is seven. It's got a range of, I think, a range of six, so I should be within range. All right, so your, your number is a seven? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go to dodge it. And I... I just oh, fell. Man. I just tripped over all my my it's spider so legs and I went down. So I do three dam <laughs> three damage. To okay, you. so three damage oh, to man. him. Armor piercing. It's not armor piercing. Okay, so some damage gets through. Um, he's he's still kicking. All right, let's do this. You shot this thing twice. Come on. All right, yeah. Take this out. So what is your what is your details? Um. So am, is my rifle a firearm or a simple ranged weapon? Uh, it is a firearm. a firearm. Okay. So then it's a uh, three. Hold on. Let me load my dice. Okay. Uh, plus one. Here we go. Right. Okay. So it's a five. Five. And then you get plus one to oh, your you attack. Plus one, so it's a six. Yep. And okay. then I also uh, positioned. You oh, aimed. Yeah. Right. Seven. So it's a seven. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to attempt to dodge it, and I got Ooh. a seven. Oh. Um, but you met or exceeded it, so you hit him. Woo! Nice. Yeah. How much damage did you do? So I hit for five, and I have armor piercing. Oh, jeez. Okay. So armor piercing of one? Yes. Uh, okay. Armor piercing of one, five, and the with, with a... With a super loud boop noise the robot collapses into a heap um and moves no more so congratulations players oh my god that was a violent conflict but good work Trey. It, yeah nice moves with the car smart uh putting the bar brights on it okay all right so, so your stamina comes back right because um, okay. you're out of combat oh and... yeah you guys are still um, rolling fine as far as health is concerned. Okay. And um, where are you headed? Can, so, we, can so, we move the car? Well, can Mike, I was going to say, what if you get in the car and we just yeah, drive over drive to the over other there. side? It's probably speed it up a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Well now, well, now you're out of. You're not in a combat encounter, so you can just you can just appear okay. places. I'll get oh, okay. The, I'll get, oh, that's right. All right. Um, well, no, let's bring the car over because it's got a gun on it. Just in case right, all and some stuff. EMPs and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I'll get in the car, James. And where do you want to move if you're driving? You're driving. Um, should you're we just move over to this side of the building? Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna um put it so that we can put the lights on the front on the door? Where's the door? Is this this is the door right here? That's the door. Correct. Yep. Okay. okay. So maybe we park it and orient the lights on the door just in case. Uh, yeah, they already know we're here. Like probably, I mean, we're firing. We threw grenades and yeah, right. Got out there drones. All right, so I popped you guys both out of the car. You're just sort of hanging yeah. out. So how would you like to proceed? Um, I still think it might be good to go back to the original plan. Uh, maybe I should sneak up to the roof and see if there's anything we can see. Maybe you just hold it and hold tight. Don't open up the door. Just give me a chance to check it out. Okay, does my, um, do we know if this door is like a steel metal door or is it like a, a door with a glass window? Uh, looking at the door, it's it's solid. I mean, it's it doesn't have it. You can't look through it. Um, it's kind of your standard fire door into a building. Um, are there any nondescript. Windows, any windows for the warehouse? There are not. Nope. Okay. Uh, could we have, it's a skid car. A skim car, does that mean it can fly? Or no? I think it just means that it hovers a little bit. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, could we park it on the roof? <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think, Dre? If I just do a quick run up to the top of the roof up the ladder and just kind of scope it out, and then if there's anything, I can come back and tell you. Um, maybe. Oh, wait. I can... 
it does say that my character can uh, compress himself down to I can contract yeah. down to yeah. two inches in the yeah. size. Now, one thing to know about that is if you do go My through weapons. any tight spaces, you lose I your weapons that's... and your armor. Yeah. Oh. That's bad. I was going to say I could sneak in. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do that yet. Um... Yeah, the thing I'm uh, nervous about is if you go up there and there's guys, and then we just have to... They would have do... heard. They probably would have heard, right? I mean, we just got into a firefight. I say... True. I don't know. If I quick sneak up there, and I'm pretty good at being stealthy, I sneak up there, just scope it out real quick, and then and then come back down. So, um, is my echo location good for like how far, how many spaces away? I think it was would... six. It was six, right? I know, but like vertically. Uh, well, th this this uh, building is like hmm. twenty feet tall, so that's you know that's four squares in height. Okay. Uh, so you, you could you could attempt to use your echolocation to see if you if you hear anything. I mean that's up to you. I guess it doesn't like bend over. Does that count? I don't know. Uh, I, you're the scientist. I don't, I, I don't <laughs> know if your echolocation bends. If I over. if I jump. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that in the player guide as to. <laughs> oh, okay. I, Dre, I'm telling you, I've got. I've got a plus two to stealth when I use All right, Mike. Her. You've so, convinced me. All right. Do I'm your gonna, sneaking. I'm going to stealth move, move up. To okay, Mike, give me an athletics check to climb the ladder. Oh, no. An athletics check? Yeah. That's, the, that's not what I'm Are blobs saying. athletic? I don't think so. Not yeah, athletic. I don't think so. No, I have a four. But I get oh. a... You also minus. get a benefit for climbing, oh, right? I'm, I'm not jumping, so I don't get yeah. I don't get a minus. I think you get a there. bonus for climbing surfaces because you have sticky appendages. I oh, have sticky, which gains that's grapple attempts Gosh. and athletics checks to climb. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're gonna so, pass it. So just yeah, just just hit me with it. All right. So give me I mean, a, honestly, I probably didn't even need to force you to do it. It's a ladder. So all right. Yeah, you passed it. Four. Okay. Yeah. So I climb up the ladder, and the thing is, I'm trying to be stealthy. So I want to okay. do a slither, which uh, if I have to, I have to pass a stealth check to do that. Okay, yeah, do a stealth check if you want to. That's fine. Okay, so another die roll. So a six, and I get a. Um, yeah, you definitely. I mean, you get a plus to a six, plus right? Three. So yeah, yeah you're, it's like a you're plus fine. Three. You're 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 slithering stealthily up a ladder. Um, I'd Why like not? to see that visual. So sticky. Um, okay, so <laughs> so you get to the like, roof. And there's no, you don't see any enemies or anything, but what you do see is there is right here where you stand and also straight across on the other side of the roof, there are some vents that lead down into the, um, the duct work inside the, the warehouse. Mm, interesting. Okay. That sounds like a, a sticky slime ball should could uh could your hearing work through the vents i mean how thick are the vents james are they like uh um i mean it's it's let's see it's um so there's here's a port a question. at either end of the roof that leads into the air duct ventilation system um you know it's like one of those like tubes that comes out of the top of a of a I building mm -hmm. um, so um because there are also realms. Realms. Yes. Would they be able to hear my echolocation? Maybe. Yeah. If if you're within, okay. re yeah, because because humans and other humanoids and other aliens don't right. hear Could it. Right. not hear it. But the realms potentially would be able to pick it up. So that's something to they, consider. Yes. Yeah. Although they already, we just had explosions and. They probably know. Out. They probably know you're out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I say um, we try and sneak in through the vents because they might be waiting at the door for us. Hmm. We don't even know if it's locked. I didn't check. I, I, yeah, I didn't so, check So door. your comm unit crackles alive and Sedge says, get your ass in gear. They're going to finish this deal and get out of town. All right, I'm going in through the vents. Dre, I got to okay. go through the vents. Right now, here's the thing. Can I pull the vent off so I don't have to shrink down to two inches? You can. You can get into the vent without having to shrink down. Yep. I'm going in through the vents. Okay. And what'll happen is, 
hopefully I can get in there, listen. If I can't, I'll get into the door and open it up for you. Or, I mean, you know, unless you want to check to see if it's locked. But I'm sliding in through the vents. Okay. I was say, Mike's going into the vents. Andrea, what are you doing? I, uh... That's a great question. What am I doing? I don't want to just stand here um, while Mike wait. is sliding. Hold on a sec. I, I do have a capability that allows me to... You guys are going to be in trouble back at the station. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I can communicate tele telepathy using telepathy, a form okay. of telepathy. So I can talk to her with what's going on. Oh, yeah. I think you also have ear, I think you have ear yeah. communication devices. Oh, we have ear... Oh, this is okay. the goddamn future, Mike. Come on. Wait, no, no. <laughs> but that means I don't have to use my voice. Oh, good point. You, 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 can, you can not speak and I can just tell her things. Her. Yes. Correct. Yep. So why don't you just wait? Why don't you just forego anything? Be on ambush in case anybody comes out the door, and I'll sneak in and get a better sense oh. of things. Okay. Unless you want to go in guns blazing, Dre, which I'm I mean, part for. of me, but I, I'm not very uh, armored up. Okay. So I'll wait by the door. Let me get, let me get some recon yeah. in. James, I'm still going in. All right, Mike's slithering in. What? Finally, we, we have an action here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take away my fog of war here, and you'll get to nice. see the inside of the, the factory. But Oh, cool. You don't see – or not the factory, sorry, the, the warehouse. You yeah. don't see – you're in this – Oh, look at those vents. You're in this ductwork, okay? <laughs> All right. So, so you are – you slither down, and you're in the ductwork. But Am you I right at the front step? Yeah, so, right. So you are like, you know, Bruce Willis and Die Hard yep. right now, slithering through the ductwork, but you can't see anything. So okay. you can't tell what's happening down here. So just imagine that you can't see any of this <laughs> structure. <laughs> building, but, Can I hear um, anything? What'd you say? Can I hear anything? Uh, you can't hear anything. You can kind of hear like a little bit of like muffled voice, but you can't make out any sort of words. Okay. I'm going to slither forward. Um, am I still in free movement? So you you technically are not anymore because okay. you're within range of them, which means they can detect you. So okay. on your movement phases, here. you can move That's your slither. normal speed, but okay. you need to give me a stealth check uh, as you work through the vents. I'm going to slither up to this point. Okay. And then I'll stealth check. Okay. And you're like so, super uh, stealth man, right? Oh, man. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I imagine so I did. God would was... not have been able to tell that you were present <laughs> in the vents. Um, <laughs> blob. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. So, Can I um, anything now? yeah. So now, Andrea, are you, are you up to any no good? You're just, you're yeah, just waiting? That's, you're well, um, can Mike like throw a pebble down to the other end of the vent as an action? Well, I, you can check your inventory, Mike. I don't think it has pebbles. But... <laughs> yeah. This isn't like like uh, Lord of the Rings style fantasy game. I don't think we have any pebbles. I mean, we were just outside in a car. Maybe something got stuck in your stealth yep, shoe. Possible. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dre, do you have lock picks? Um, no, I do not. I have the lock picks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will um find out if the door is locked. Okay, okay so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna try to twist the handle on the door. Uh, extremely slowly, just to see if it's locked. Okay, so give me a stealth check on that. Wait, you gotta move. She has to move up there. Too. Oh yeah, so you'd be up to the door. Oh yeah. And then uh, and then hit me with a stealth check. Stealth check, great. My awesome stealth check. Maybe I should have checked the door. <laughs> Hold on, me. That's three. Here we go. Oh, okay. Geez, you guys are okay. rolling. You guys are rolling up sixes tonight. Okay. We are. Big so sixes. you turn that handle yeah. real slow. And the, Super slow. The door is unlocked. Okay. And then you move it back up real slow, and you're fine. Great. Well, that, that was her action and move. Right? Yeah, yeah now, I had to yeah. move. Now, yeah. So Dre moved and, and did her little test the door, and now yep. we're in a new round. Okay. Um, give me one 
chance I'm gonna move up to the right vent and then I'm going to up, up to the right vent, see if I can hear anything, and then if maybe you can come in, Drake. So I'm going to move right up to that vent. I'll slither up there. Okay, so give me a stealth check. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. So you're, you're good. They didn't hear anything. And you okay. are able to – you get up there with your little liquid body, and you are able to see – some some fellows down. Ooh, fellows. Below. Okay, and one of them is a realm. And then you see, hold on, three other gangsters. Ooh, gangsters. That are humans. Oh. And they're all standing around a table, and they are. Uh, looking at a whole table full of guns. And so this is the deal kind of going down. Okay. Um, this is a table right here that you see. Okay. And then, that red thing? Uh, yeah, this kind of brownish reddish uh, yeah. thing there. And then, um, Mike, you can see that there's just some crates. Okay. So some crates uh, strewn around the, the, um, the warehouse. And then you also see three... skim cars parked in the garage and they are you know in classic kind of action movie fashion they have those trunks popped up and they're chock full of weaponry oh silver suitcases uh, i did yep are you not seeing the skim cars no okay did you hit refresh real quick yeah you might have to did you see yourself move up to here though i did see myself move and hmm. you put all the guys in so okay okay give me one sec So do we have anybody in chat who's actually played Solar Echoes before? Um, I was always curious as to if people have seen this uh, this game system. Definitely shout out if you have. All right. I like how when I refresh, it automatically loads my name up. Oh, yeah. Ushar is back. Ushar is back. Oh man, I'm just this blob moving my way. Yeah. So uh, Mike is telling me all this stuff, I so am. I know where everybody oh, else yeah, is and too. I, and I, I, I do have actually some flavor text for you for when you. Oh, flavor text. Yeah, okay. The dimly lit interior of the warehouse is filled with shipping crates of various sizes, some stacked high and others left at odd intervals throughout the storage area. Above, the roof, stre the roof stretches up to twenty feet with ventilation ducting attached to the ceiling, which you're in. Uniformly distributing recirculated air through vents every 15 feet. A small 15 foot by 20 foot office is in the southeast corner. Three skim cars are parked facing the garage door. The cars are painted with gang symbols and are equipped with vehicle weapons. Several humans stand over a table lined with guns. From the images in your mission briefing, the realm showing the guns, which is the purple guy, uh, must be Micken. Okay. Can I hear what they're saying? So you can hear what they're saying. They're just, you know, they're talking. Um, uh, they're talking about prices. They're arguing about quantities. It's nothing that you know is is outrageously beneficial, other than just it's proof that there is a uh, an arms deal going on. Okay. Hmm. Uh, they also are agitated about what's going on outside of the building mm. oh, okay of course they are are is there any wall or anything there isn't between them and the front door uh no this is all open there's some walls here mm. and this is just open space okay i'll just check my inventory see if there's anything i might be able to do to distract them all right so um no, wait, we need to capture him, right? That is the primary objective for this, Dre? It's to capture yeah. Rickon? Or uh, Micken? Yeah. Micken, yeah. Micken. Micken. Um, all right, well, maybe what we should do is... I've got some tear gas. Um, so, we both went this round, right? Oh, is the no, round No, this done? is the beginning of Mike's round. He moved okay. here. So give me a... Flip me that little movement. Oh, sorry. Did it flip? Yep. Okay. 
So I've moved already. Okay. So Mike, you Great. succeeded with you succeeded with your stealth check to get up to yeah. here, and now Mike or Andrea, you can do whatever you want to do. Okay. The door is unlocked, so you don't have to take an action to open it. If okay. you would want to move in, you can just move through the door. Um, do I know how tall this red reactor box is? Uh, yes, it is one square high, which is roughly five feet. Um, it will provide you with some cover. Um, I believe, uh, can you tell me what your height is? Um, my height. Ah, height. Where are you, height? I think it's on there. Right? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's my weight. Is there not a height? I don't see it. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to assume you're like of normal humanoid height, just looking at how the realm compare to um, to the humans. So yeah. you're a little bit taller than five feet. And so you're not going to be full covered there. You're going to have two points of cover. Which, okay. Which adds two to your dodge. To your dodge. Um, great. You could wait one more and give me a... I could throw a tear gas grenade in there. Um, you can also do this all at the same time. Yeah. So maybe I should just throw a tear gas grenade in there. Um, and then you come in through the door. You ready to go. Well, she would have to move. She would have to declare her move before you were to do that. Right. Um, Um, One thing to keep in mind is the embarrassment you may feel at headquarters <laughs> if it were to come out that you stood outside uh, True. this warehouse. This okay, warehouse. here's what I'm going to do. I uh, am going to go in and I'm going to hide along the like north side of the boxy okay, wall. Well, you can point. Just yeah, point to where you are. Okay, fine. You gotta, I'm use gonna the, have... you gotta use the system, please. please. Right, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna right in this spot. Okay, so is that gonna... let's see. One, two, three, yeah. Okay, so that's where you're declaring your move to. Yes, and I'm going to, you know, take cover. Okay. All right. So so Mike has already moved this action. Dre moves. As you come in the door, Micken points directly at you and shouts to the others, Didn't I promise you the opportunity to test the guns? Here are your targets. Fire away. Great. Okay. Um, so, did I make it? Oh, well, what yeah, happened? so now these guys are all aiming at you. Okay. Great. Okay, so what can I do with this vent that I'm at? Can I pus pop it open and throw a tear gas grenade at them, Jay? Uh, you can. Yes, you definitely can. Okay. I'm going to pop it open. I declare my action. I'm going to pop it open and throw a tear gas grenade. And Yeah, because now you um, don't care about stealth at all, so you don't have to do a stealth check. Although, right. you might get them by surprise. Hold on, let me check real quick. So that uh, means I'm, I'm going to be tear gas too? Um, no, what's your range on the tear gas? It's, got a, it's an 8 range and has a blast of 3. Okay. So oh, I okay. Can, I, it, it won't unless I miss my roll. Um, right. Yeah, I could target like I could target Rick and his Mick and his purple, so I could target him and hit everybody. Um, That's what I'm gonna do. I'm okay, gonna and these guys, Dre, are all aiming at you. Aiming at right. Him. Is it worth trying to like sweet talk them? Probably not. Uh, their all... posture. So the I, I don't know if I ever discussed to you guys with like um, uh, yeah, trying to talk to guys. Um, so they you can talk to people, but once combat starts, the chances of it actually doing anything um, right are, are, are pretty low. Uh, and the starting posture of these enemies is two, which is pretty low. They they fantasize about doing you harm. So pretty low. What does that mean? Like, if you like, get a post the posture of the character up to a ten, that means they like love you. 
Oh, okay. Uh, posture of one means they want to do, like, they actively are done talking to you and they're yeah. going to try to get they're just, you. So okay. they're trying to smooth talk them. Great. It's extremely difficult. Yeah, right, especially in the middle of a combat encounter. Yeah. Okay. Well, Trey, we can see what happens with my, if you want to, like, try to get cover. I mean, you already are under cover. Yeah, I already so have cover, and I'm going to uh, attempt to to snipe nice. one of them from from where I am. Okay, so who are you declaring on? Uh, oh, I'll by the way, on. This, this one, this guy here, the black one, yeah. he seems to be a little bit better equipped uh, than the other two. He has okay. some heavier armor on. Um, and has some sort of decoration on his person that gives you the indication that he might be a higher ranking member of the gang. Well, I think that's the only one that I probably can see. Um, Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I think you can fire over that cube that you're standing at. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's... But, but you might have a, a negative to it. So okay. I would say your best yeah, bet... Yeah, I'll go with that guy. ...to fire at that guy, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I've already declared... So Mike's throwing a grenade. All three of them are attacking you. Great. And um, all at the same time. So does anyone want to do any reactions? Um, and Dre, you're probably the only one who can, and that would be to... Yeah. Side, jump to the side. Uh... Yeah. You, know, you can dive for cover if you want to, which gives you a plus one to your range defense. You already have two points of cover from you know being behind that. Right. I'm not going to because that would, yeah, limit my my offense. It would limit your offense next turn. Oh, next turn. And all that it would happen next turn is you'd have to use your entire movement to stand up. What so. Is Oh, never mind. So you know, it's okay. up to you. You don't have to dodge for you don't have to dive for cover if you don't want to. You are behind that that yeah. brick, so you're gonna have decent cover there. Okay, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm gonna see how this goes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, what order do we wanna we wanna do this in? I say tear gas. Okay. Tear gas first. That's that's my vote. I'm All right, Mike, how, what's the rules on the tear gas? Okay, so um, the tear gas has a range of eight, a blast of three, and its damage means you, the, the enemy are shaken for two rounds. And shaken, I mean, I assume that means that they um, they can't do a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, let me look up the... Um, I can actually pull for you the... Um... Anyone caught in the cloud, which lasts for two rounds, suffers a negative one penalty to all skills, including dodge. If someone affected should attempt any influence skills during this time, they suffer a minus five. Okay, yeah, so if you were trying to actually talk to them, that well, would be... Well, it says right here, um, I mean, I'm glad the chat cleared it up, but it says right here that they double damage from the EMP. Right? Oh, the EMPs, so, yeah. Okay. All right, so basically they'll just have a minus one to all of their stuff. Okay. Okay. So, um, I what do I have to roll again? Uh, you do a just a simple, um, whatever they're called, a simple ranged. Simple ranged. And uh, it's to a point that you're throwing it at, and that mm -hmm. point has an eight. So okay, to hit it, you have to clear eight. So I get a four plus one. Okay. Ooh. So I got to roll uh, two sixes. Yep. Come on, big money, big money, big money. You refresh, so you got to put those dice back in oh, your in your right. bag. Add to the bag. And what uh, shaken, Mike, is yeah a minus one penalty to all of your skills, mm -hmm. and um, ooh, it does not work on people who are unable to feel fear. So oh, these guys can feel fear. So. All right, so I got a seven. So you got a seven. So you didn't hit it exactly. You targeted right there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yep. All right, so roll me one die six to, to decide which direction it goes in. Three. So it goes in. Let me do one. Uh, okay. It goes, I think, here. Okay, so it has a blast of three. So one, one two, three. three. So it still covers all of them. Yep, and it doesn't hit us. Right. Okay, great. 
Okay, so it, does it do any damage, or does it just shaking them? No, it's just shaking. All it does is um, gives them minus one to all of their um, combat. But did you say that the surprise could potentially affect things? Uh, yeah. No, because you're not. It wouldn't actually matter because you're not. You're not using a, an attack. Okay. Um, and I, I technically don't think that you could get a surprise on them after they've been awakened like that. But um, okay. I don't think it would have mattered. So, um, all right. So these guys starting next round will be will be uh, shaken. Um, mm -hmm. So you're as long as they stay in this cloud, is that correct? Um, they're shaken for two rounds, period. Okay, great. Um, they don't have to remain in the cloud or anything like that. Uh, let's just see. Produces a cloud with a blast radius of three. Anyone caught in a cloud which lasts for two rounds suffers. Oh wait, it doesn't actually say. It just says. Well, I think it'll suffer. Yeah, so it's while they're in the cloud. Oh, caught in the cloud, meaning they got caught in the cloud. Not that they're in it, but that they just got caught in it. So okay. there's a minus one penalty. So they're going to take a minus one penalty for two rounds. After okay. That they're fine. Starting next round. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, all right. So they're all shaken. Dre, do you want to execute your attack? Yes. Okay, here we go, guy. Um, it's a three, but plus one. Okay. What? Um, Right. Okay. And you're shooting at the the black character, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Three plus one. Okay. okay. Six. So it's a you you have a six. All right. So remember that you have a six. I have a four. Dodge. Okay. Seven oh. Plus two. I, I have a nine. So you missed. Wow. Wait. Why is it a nine? He has a range dodge of two. Oh, okay. So, because he's the gang leader, he's uh, he's yeah. on a higher level. So, so you miss the gang leader. Okay. And now the fire is coming your way. Oh, geez. So we'll do the gang leader first. And let's see. So he's gonna get four dice with a. Plus two firearms. Cool. So it's a five. So it's a seven coming at you. Oh my gosh! But okay. You're gonna get plus two to your dodge because of your points. And um, my dodge is a three plus one. Okay. So it's a three plus for a range. Three. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and, and roll it. I'm at a seven attack. Okay. Three sixes. Ooh. Okay, a six plus three. Yep. So it's a nine. Plus so that nine. guy that guy doesn't hit you. Nice. Um, all right. So then the red guy is going to attack you. This is just a normal old gang thug. No normal old gang thug. Yep. Yeah. And so he's going to attack with three reflex dice. And he shoots at you with a six. Okay. Six plus three. So he missed. Yep. And then the green guy is going to fire at you as well. Okay. And he is also a six. Oh, six. six. All right. So, oh. so lucky, lucky. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. It was a three you plus always... three. But I'm sorry, Dre. Wasn't there a one in there? Oh, there was. There was a one. There was. So oh, that, that's an Ooh. honor. That's an honorable man right there. You should. Uh, you should give her. You should give her a free. Uh, free pass because. That's yeah. Great. Right. Okay. So it. This does. Um, oh. Okay. Oh so I have one damage. No. This does. No, uh, no. This does. The damage of the weapon. Four ballistic damage. Oh jeez. Did you have um, some armor on? He's got some good armor. Uh, but it has armor piercing two. Okay, my armor is two. Okay, so you, so it goes right through your armor. The four damage. Um, so the four damage like lands on you. So my armor has a value of two hardness. Does that matter? Um, no, because it pierced through. You, you, you actually. Okay. It, it ignores armor, so all four of the damage make it to you. Okay. Um, which puts you in real bad position. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Um, if you look on your character sheet, there's uh -huh. the the bio status scale. Yep. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four damage is critically wounded. 
Um, yep. And that gives you minus three to your skills, movement, and stamina. Oh my gosh. Wow. So you're going to have to use a medical kit, you a have medic to kit on yourself. Heal yourself. Luckily, I have some of those in my backpack. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, so those, uh, those assault rifles are Delicious. something else. Yeah. So what does the hardness value mean for the armor? So the, the way the hardness works is if your armor absorbs damage. So let's say a non-armor oh, piercing hits you. Uh-huh. If the, In this case, two of the damage would have made it to Andrea, and then her armor would have lost two as well. Hardness. Hardness points. And then if okay. it loses all its hardness points, then the armor is disintegrated, I essentially. So I, I get you. Okay. So, so yeah, these guns are not jokes. No. Um, and these were the ones that they were selling. So. Hmm. Okay. Great. Great. All right. So that's um, the end of the turret. Okay. Um, and now, uh, Mike, now so your movement's turned off. Yep. And they're um, all at negative one for the, the first. Uh, Micken is going to make a run for it. Uh, I lost Mike again. Oh, okay. Mike, you're going to have to refresh. Oh, why did I? Uh, yeah, Dre I lost it. you. Let's see. His movement is five. Huh. Is he back for you, Dre? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, Micken is going to make a run for this door. For which door? I'm Sorry. still waiting for the board to load. Oh, okay. Oh, for the office? Yeah, he's going to make a run for the office. I have all my cards. I have to put my movement back to... Um, right. Yep. So let me know when you get the, the board back, Mike. Has it started giving you a refresh yet? Oh, it said refreshing cards, but... Um, didn't say refreshing board and still isn't up yet. Okay. Just wait a second. Sometimes to connect to this other phone takes a second there. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the free time right. to discuss a plan. So if Micken is running for that office, Jay, I could sprint and drop out of the bottom vent and try to, like... Uh, you cannot sprint inside the vents. My board just showed up. Your board it showed up? Yep. Okay. New board. All right, so you guys are good? Yeah. Okay. Um, you said Micken was going where? Uh, Micken is going to make a break for this office. Okay. Hmm. James, are there rules? Would we know the rules on the assault rifles? Can they use them in close combat or no? Um, they, they have. They appear to have like weaponry on them for okay. some melee battling. For melee. Yep. Okay. So I'm actually just gonna move him. Over there. Okay. Yeah. I um need to heal myself. Yeah. Go for it. Um, there's not really a place where I can get to and hide. Can but you also, crouch down is that a is that an action that you can take? Crouch down behind the thing. Well, I'm already like t plus two with my. Uh, You're already behind it, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm just reading through my my skills to see if there's anything I can do here. Okay, and the gang leader is actually going to go and get behind cover. Okay, I'm going to move to this uh... So if I give myself healing potions, that's it? I can't shoot this round? Uh, right. Yep. 
Okay. That would be your action to inject yourself with the nanites. Yeah, the nanites. Is, okay. Um, is this, James, another box? Uh, which one? Gray, Sorry, Mike. Yes, gray. that is a box, and it's two squares high, so it's 10 feet high. Oh, okay. All right. Um... Where I am, am I protected from uh, our black super friend? Yeah, he can't yeah. shoot you at all where you are. Okay. Can she move back one? That'll get you out of the range of um, both red and and green. Well, no, because this is only one square high, so they can see her. Yeah. Uh, you could go prone, and then you would have four. You would have four points of um, cover. Okay, I'll do I'll do that while I give myself some nanites. Okay, so you're gonna lay down. Yep. I'm gonna move uh, right here, James. Okay, so Dre lays down, uh, and you're gonna inject yourself with some nanites. Um, Mike, where are you headed? Right here. Okay, you're moving. You're moving to the other side. Yep. Okay. Okay, and um, all right, so Dre, you need to give me a bio uh, check. Okay, a biotech, biotech check, yeah. All um, right, that action. is a three plus one for me. Oh wait, like, well, let, let's all declare our actions, sorry, before we do oh, okay. That. Um, does, does where I'm at, does that allow me to see green or no? Uh, no, I believe you're gonna have to be here to see him. Okay. Uh, okay, so, um, my guy here can't see anybody, so he's just going to hang out. Hang out. Uh, this guy is going to. He no longer. He has a minus four, or uh, you have four points of cover. So in order to hit you, I believe he has to actually shoot through these boxes. Mm -hmm. Um. So he is just going to, uh, essentially wait. And so okay. is this guy. We're gonna wait. These guys are gonna wait. They're essentially lined up hiding waiting for you guys to pop up to shoot you down okay. sounds good all right and then you're nanite. gonna give me a bio biotech check on your nanites yep uh it's a three plus one okay here we go oh my gosh it's a plus one though so you got it yeah okay all right so that increases your um you're now only seriously wounded perfect so yeah. it's a minus. So, so okay. A minus two now. Does yeah, no, does no, that no. count for my skills? Yeah, it's a minus two to all skills. No, oh. but my biotech skill. Oh yeah, it would have. Yeah. So I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Great. Right. Yep. You failed at injecting yourself. <laughs> I uh, my bloody hand. It was you. Uh, it slipped out. Well, yeah, you're you're very badly wounded. Right. So. Mike is slithering around up there in the in the attic. Does though. she use the kit? Uh, no, I, I think you just slipped out of your hand and fell onto the ground. So you, you, okay, not, you 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 didn't lose it. You still have it. Great. The nanites are still in the tube. Okay. All right, new round. What are you guys doing? Oh, well, um, I gotta nanite it up. Okay. Did you say your care? Your did you announce that your guys are in ambush positions, James? Uh, well, they, they would have to do that as a reaction to mm, okay. somebody's movement. Um, so, no, they are not currently in ambush position. Okay, and can I see, is this a, a wall? This is, is glass. Like... It's a mirror. Or it's a window, excuse me. That's glass. Yep. And that's, so that's a doorway. Door? Yep. Okay, so he ran in through the doorway. Correct. Um, I am going to... Uh, move right there where are you moving to right here right here mm -hmm. okay so um you're gonna have to do an athletics check when you drop down mike okay uh because you're falling from i think 15 feet yeah it's 20 feet i thought I think yeah said. so give me an athletics check let me just see if there's any no i mean sticky only applies to grapple. on the way on the way up yeah checks the climb do you think this counts as a jump 
No, you're just falling from a height. Okay. And if you fall from so, over 10 feet, I think you got to do an athletics check. So I have athletics of four dice. Okay. Oh, we gotta, sorry, we gotta add them again. Refresh. Okay, so you passed. You didn't take any damage on your way down. Awesome. Um, and so you're going where? Right there. Okay, you're charging them, huh? Oh, hey, melee time. He might run away like a little biatch. Um, okay, so he's going to do a reaction. Okay. And get in block mode, um, which essentially is like preparing to fight melee. Okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna take a look real quick. Uh, how, what that, how that works? Give me one second. Okay. All right, so it's gonna give me a plus one to melee dodge. They all have minus one still. Right. Yep. 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 This is the last round that they had minus one. Right. Um, okay. And so he, he's in block mode as a reaction to your movement. Okay. Um, this guy yeah. is going to move one, two, three, four. And this guy is going to move. No, this guy is going to stay put. Um, and it's going to be, actually, no, he's going to come around. One, two. So he can get into range to shoot at you, Mike. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, and I think that's it for all my movements. So now we declare actions? Declare your actions, yeah. Dre, what are you going to do? You're going to inject the nanites? Yeah, I'm going to inject them again. Okay. And then, Mike, you're going to... Shoot, strike. It's a draw, attack, plus one melee with my katana. Okay, and then... This guy is going to melee attack uh, Mike. Let's see. I'm just going to look to see what he attacks with. He has a combat knife. Ooh. And. He's going to try and kill the blob. With yeah, the with a combat knife. knife. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this guy yeah. is going to shoot at you. Okay. And Bring this guy is actually, um, you're you're shorter than these cars, so I do not believe that this guy has a line of sight to you. Nice. How tall is that box he's behind? This one is one mm -hmm. square high. Okay. It's like a dumpster looking thing. Oh. Uh, okay, so everybody's declared. Dre, you want to try mm -hmm. to shoot your nanites? Come on, plus three. Money, big money, big money. Here we go. Okay, five plus one. Minus one. Just a six. Minus one. We get a five. Minus another three, which gives you a oh. two. Because she's still critically wounded. Yeah, I, I still have minus three, three on all three. skill checks. Maybe I should have dropped out and healed her. Maybe, but you know. <laughs> okay. So wait. This. Wait, is it possible for her to even pass? Yeah, if she didn't roll a one, she would have passed. Uh, yeah. If she rolled a five or a six, she would pass. Mm. Ooh, ah, save by chat again. Save by Yay. chat again. Thanks, chat. Deus Thanks, ex chat. machina comes in and um, and he reminds me that you can use a stamina point. Remember when I said oh, you, can, you can use yeah, a stamina right. point to dump to bump a die roll? So. I d yeah, I did that. Yep. You, you can bump it up plus one. So you're going to use a stamina, and then you get that injection in there. Yes. And uh, you feel slightly better. Oh, I, slightly better. That's Emily. Funny. Now you're at minus two. Right. All right. All right. So I'm swinging my katana now. Sure. Yeah. So go I for it. officially used one of my med packs. Yeah. So you take away med one kit. of your nanites. Yep. Um, and when you use a nanite. When you inject, you lose a stamina. Okay, so I'm so you lost down two, two from that round. Stamina. Yeah, yep. All right, you gain so one health, but you lose a stamina. Okay, so Mike, what's uh, what's what's Eight, your deal? Right. So I draw attack plus one melee. So okay. my melee is a four dice roll plus one already plus one for shoot strike. 
Okay, and my boy is blocking, so he gets a plus one melee dodge. But he gets a minus one because he got tear gas. Correct. So oh, tear gas. So let's so I just see. do a, I just do a roll. So I got a four. Okay, hold on. And then I get plus one plus one, so I got a six. So strength or reflex. So he has a four strength, so he gets four dice. So what did you end up with, Mike? A six. A six, huh? Okay, you hit him. Nice. What did you, what kind right. of damage? It is a katana, so it does four AP one. Okay, so it's armor piercing one. So you just hit him for four, which is exactly what happened to Dre. And he's down to... Um, He's critically wounded. Nice. Does he also have minus three on skill checks? Yep. Nice. Yeah, so so all the humanoids and all that, they all operate the same way. Okay. So he is critically wounded. Does that mean he lays down on the ground? Um, no. Oh, because Dre was in prone. Yeah, yeah I was Dre, hiding yeah, further. Dre, yeah, she she wanted to go prone. Okay, so he's critically wounded, Mike. He's attacking you at the exact same time. Okay. Um, and he is attacking with a combat knife, and his um. Let's see, melee. He's doing a melee attack on you, which he has four strength dice and a plus one on it. But a minus one because but a minus one because he's uh, stressed or whatever it is. Um, well, he gets a minus yeah minus one because yeah. the shaking shaking. Yep. So he just gets four strength dice. Okay. So a six. Holy moly! Now what do I roll? So you're rolling a uh, your melee dodge. Melee dodge. Which is going to be strength or reflexes, whichever is better. Uh, I have a four and then a dodge value one. Okay. So, um, so basically, four plus one. Yep. So, so it hits five. you. So it is. Wait, no, I'm spending a stamina point. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, you could. Sure. So I spend one, and that evens this out, and that means he doesn't hit me. Yep. I'm doing it. Okay. So you you use a stamina to bump your roll. Yeah. Um. So you, the melee attack is ineffective. And my uh, stamina is now down to a two. Okay, so just write that down. And then um, this guy is shooting at you, the red guy. That's right. His name is Frank. This is Frank? Yeah. Okay, Frank, the, we have the entire universe to come up with names. We could come up with any combination of letters that we imagine. Yep. Any possible item could be pulled out of your brain totally. <laughs> and we it's got Frank. I'm I'm thinking of a good acronym that means Frank. Okay, so all right, so here he is, and Mike, he's shooting at you. Okay. And he has a minus one. Can um, I declare my reaction now? You can. Yep. So I will react okay. uh, with the um, sidestep, move one, get plus one range dodge. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so his firearms, he has three reflex dice, and he has a firearm skill of one. But okay, it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna move right there. But he's gonna have a minus one, so he just has his three three firearms dice. Yep. And he wow gets a three. So a three coming at you. Three coming at me. So I what do I have to do? A uh, range dodge. Range dodge. Okay. Yep. So I have a four plus one plus one. All right, you dodge it. it. So which direction would you want to sidestep? Here. I'm going for him, Dre. Uh, okay, so um, I think we're I think we're done. Yeah, I think that ends this phase, right? All right, it's a new round. So, what? Uh, where's everybody headed? Um, I'm moving uh, right here. You're moving there, okay? Hmm. I still have minus two on everything. You do, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this this uh, gang leader is... Wait, do I get my stamina point back now? No. End of combat. Oh. 
So this gang leader actually has made a break for this car and is in this car. Uh oh, he's gonna. He's in it. In it. And there were weapons on those cars, right? And I am slow. So this guy is going to make a break for it. He's running for the door. He's going to get up here. And then this guy is one, two, three, four. He's, he's just trying to get away from you. Is so he, is he wounded? Does he can he still move the full distance? Yeah, I don't think you lose any Oh no, you lose some movement too, right? I don't know. Yeah, you yeah. do. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, so he, he moves here. He's just pulling his body away from you as fast as he can. Which is very slowly. Alright, Dre, what are you doing? Um, that's a great question. You gonna stand up? I'm going to stand up. Is that my action? That will be your your movement. Okay. To come up from prone, I believe. Can you move in the prone way? I don't know. Can I move while I'm prone? Can I army crawl? I feel I, like snipers do that. I actually don't know if you can move hmm. while you're prone. I don't think so. I think the only movement you can do is is getting up. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Um, up I guess shoot that guy. my my goal is going to be to shoot this guy. Okay. Right so you're standing up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you got. You still have to move me, James. Yeah. And where do you want? Where did you want to be? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Which is um, what can you remind me? We just need to get. We need to capture Mickin. Yeah, but is it okay if these other guys are escaping? I mean, we don't know. Your, your primary objective was to capture Mickin. That's, That's all, all you know, know really. So. Okay. I just wanted to clear some of these out in case it yeah. turned out to be bad. Okay. All right, I guess we're all done with our movement. Yeah, movement phase is all done. Um, uh, we did get news from chat that you can move one square when prone. Oh, okay. So would you want to do that, or do you want to stand up? Um, no, I'll, I'll continue to stand. Okay, so we're standing. All right, what's what's uh, everybody declaring their actions? Okay, I'm going to shoot. Um, can, I can't see – Can I, I can't see green over the cards, or can I? Um. We don't we know your said, height. We had said because of my size that this would... guy could not see you. So I'm going to say you can't see him. Okay. Because we did save you from, uh, from gang yeah, leader. Yeah, we did. All right, so I'm going to shoot at um, the guy who's fleeing. All right, so you're shooting with your pistol at this guy? Yep. Okay. I think I have the range for it. This guy is going to shoot with his pistol at you, Mike. All right. Bring it on. All right. Pistol battles. Dre, yeah, what are you I got, doing? I, I was shooting at that guy too. Okay, over so the box. You both are shooting at this this guy. Um, Mike, are you going to react? Of course, I'm going to react. Okay. Are you resolving it first? Uh, well, I, I well it, I declared the action, so you can just say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna." I'm, I'm gonna, gonna react. Okay, you're gonna react. Okay, of course. Um, and then this guy, I believe, is out of range from Andrea. Um, so he's not going to fire. And all right, so let's, I'll fire on you first. How about that? Okay. So I'm reacting with a sidestep. Three reckless dice. Three. And he is no longer affects from the um, tear gas. Correct. Okay. So he has a four. Okay. Um, I get a four plus one plus one. You're safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to move uh, here. All right. For my sidestep plus move plus one. All right. So now you guys are opening fire on him. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll go first. 
Um, firearms have a four plus one. Okay, now let's uh, do his six. A yeah, six. six, and then his range dodge is um, his reflex score is three. So he's got a, melee, a range dodge of one with three die. So that's uh, five right. plus one, six. That's even. Uh, okay, so you hit him. Nice. Meter exceed. So, um, all right, so what's your damage with that pistol, Mike? Three. Any armor piercing or no? No armor piercing. Okay. Um, and yeah, I actually thought this, but it's good. It came in from chat. You get a plus one focus fire bonus because you're both shooting at the same guy. Oh. Uh, so he doesn't get to like move around very much because you're blasting. Yeah. Him. So you, you, you would have hit him anyway, but you hit him. Um, uh, so, okay. Oh, wait. I stood up, so that counts as a move. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So you got three damage. Um, he's wearing armor one. So two of your damage get through. Nice. And that means he is moderately wounded. All right, let's hope I can take him out for the rest of it. Yeah, so he is a minus one, but uh, this all happens at the same time, so you don't get the benefit right. of minus one right now. Oh, um, right. All right, so I am shooting him with my combat rifle, um, okay. which is a uh, five damage armor piercing one. How many dice you get? Four? I get three, but it's a plus one, but I'm seriously wounded, so it's minus two for skill checks. And then you get another plus one for the focus fire. So essentially, right. you get three straight dice. Yes. Okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so you got How a many three. How stamina points do you have left? Do uh, have none. I don't have do any. Because you, you lose stamina when you're wounded, too. Oh, yeah. Right. All right, so a range dodge, his range dodge is three reflex um, with a plus one. So he dodges it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I'm supposed to be this awesome sniper. Yeah, you've had, but, you, uh, well, it all started yeah. when you got oh, shot you got, down. I mean, that was not, shot right in the chest. not particularly helpful. Um, yeah. Okay, so new round. Um, what are you guys up to? Uh, is this is there is this door shut? The door is shut. You don't know if it's locked. Hmm. Um, what can I see through the through the window? Uh, you can uh, see some uh, uh, an open suitcase briefcase with some money in it. You can see some weapon prototypes, uh, and you can see a uh, a chair. Okay. Um. So that was combat. Did my stamina come back? No, I, I think it's once you leave combat. We're still in combat. Oh. Okay. oh. Mentally have left combat. Does yeah. that count? No. No. It oh. <laughs> um, okay, so this green guy, he's declaring that he's going to move here. He's dragging himself, and he's, he's muttering under his breath, I'm going to get that goddamn gelatinous blob if it's the last thing I do. Awesome. All right. Dre, you take care of the guy who's running. I'm moving right here. Okay. I'll do my best. What's a guy. red guy's movement? Do we Three. know? Three. Three? Yeah. I am lifting my katana above my head, and I am slithering my way right down to green. Okay, so you're, <laughs> you're out of here. Out of okay, so so he activates his, his block. He's going to react and do his block. Uh, so that's his reaction. Um, and then um, this and guy, just, yeah. <laughs> this guy's peeling out. He's he's getting out of here. Um, Let him go. So he's blasting. We should have. Dre, I was thinking we should have tried to park the car in front of the garage door. <laughs> I know. To block him. That would have been pretty clever. That would have so been really couldn't. clever. As soon as we went in, I was like, we should have parked the car and fallen. Yeah, and if you had, if you'd have chosen right, it could have stuck. He could have stuck with the car. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Like what? Oh man, that would have been pretty funny. Okay, so so this guy is not gonna move. Um, instead oh, he is he's gonna focus fire. He's gonna aim. 
and he's gonna aim uh and he's gonna target mike he's, he's shooting at you buddy so if i dodge out of the way could he potentially hit his buddy um i don't think so because it's not i the rules don't have i don't think a uh, clarification for that i think it, it's got to be in the path of where he's firing okay got it well i also am not going to move and i'm going to shoot that guy so you're going to aim yes all right so dre's aiming shooting this guy this guy is aiming shooting at you mike are you doing any reactions <gasps> oh yes so you're going <laughs> you're, you're to react I'm gonna to sidestep right here sidestep okay this guy has With his, sound his, effects. this guy has his block going so we, we <laughs> the, the thing i like about this game is that is that like you just set up a bunch of crap yeah and then it's like boom you know all yeah. of it's kind of like happening like, all at the same time i like time. this it's better than the D, &D rules where you had uh what was it not initiative but um, yeah i mean probably yeah i mean depending we played a long long time ago so i I'm, yeah. i know it's different now than obviously it's different but the old yeah. D, D rules were yeah you have initiative coming into the into the battles and stuff I, I like this kind of uh spontaneous everything or, um, happening more spontaneously. yeah what's not spontaneous what's the word um instantaneously no. simultaneous simultaneously we we got the wrong taneous <laughs> um, okay all right so, so i so you want to go first mike you want to you want to cut this guy down first I is that I'm gonna chop all right him up. he's hurting though man he he looks so rough he's 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 pulling out his pistol and he's like trying to block with one arm so i am gonna do my sheath strike okay i'm assuming i can do this for the first attack every time hold up let me read let me just read real quick and verify i can do that oh yeah because it, it's also like pulling it out right yeah his katana with armor all right um when he first attacks with his katana so i'm first attacking with this katana because i broke away from him do you agree with that no i think you still had it in your hand right well you, you were charging this guy with it oh but then you then you shot yeah, but I shot, though. That's the thing. Like, it just says, remember to use Ushar's uh, sheath strike talent when he first attacks with his katana. Hmm. The question is if we think... I, I think you probably would have it out and the pistol, right? Uh, I don't you know. Would, one, sh one shotting a pistol? What, one-handed shoot, one appendage shooting Yeah, pistol? one one blobby, blobby arm. <laughs> They're just like in you, right? Because you're just like a. Yeah, he like slides it back into his body. Yeah. Well, let's just, right. For the sake of it, I, I this is not my first attack with it. Okay. So, and it's just a standard attack. Okay. But the, so that's basically, I think I get just a four plus one anyway. All right. So this so guy I'm has a. I'm at a four plus one. A four die. Melee dodge one. All right. So what do you have? A six. Six plus one. I have a seven. Okay. So this guy has four die to do melee dodge because it's a strength. But he's got a minus two. He's got a minus three. Three because he's critically wounded. Um, ooh, so it's already a four. Oh. Minus three is a one. I um, plus I one is a two. Time. He's yeah. yeah okay. So so your your attack gets through, but what's the damage on it? Four AP one. All right, four AP one. So he he's dead. Woo! He's got dead. him. But he did get to shoot. Of course. Um, and so he, he picked that pistol up, and he was just going to try to take you down. Last thing he could do, he said, I'm never going to see my wife and kids again, but I'm going to get this blob. I'm going to make sure this blob never sees his baby pustules ever again. And so he lifts up the pistol, and here it comes. This is what you get for dealing with arms, man. Yeah, well, you know, you got to make money somehow in this very difficult future society. Um, all right, so he's got a firearms one with three ref, uh, based on his reflexes, and it's a five plus one is a six minus three is a three. All right, and so I do a. Am I doing a firearms dot a range dodge or melee dodge? Uh, I think it's still I mean, a range it's dodge, even though it's right. even it's though the same it's, value for me. Yeah. So I get a four plus one. So, so it's a four. I get a five plus one. Oh yeah, five plus one, so it's a six. Oh, you nice. dodge it, and then and then you you sidestep. No, that that's a reaction to to the. Oh, to this gunfire. guy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this guy tried to kill you. He missed you. He died. Just a useless death. Just another dead body in the name of the gang war of, um, shit. 
Well, we're Union Guards. So yeah, I know. Hold on. I'm just trying to get the city. Uh, in Rimshard. These battles in Rimshard are getting out of control. All right. So another uh, fatherless f set of family. Blood on your hands. No big deal. Uh, you tried to kill me. You tried to kill my partner. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's, there's, there's a blast coming at you. Let's figure out the rest of this stuff with you, and then Dre yep. can shoot at this guy. Okay. All right. This guy is shooting at Mike. Um... He's taking aim at me, right? He did aim at you, which gives him a plus one, but he's at a minus one because he's been hurt. So he, so that hurt. that bases it out. And he has three, um, I think he has three die. Yep. And so three die with just a, his normal uh, skill. So it's a plus one. Uh, three die. Yep. So it's a seven, Mike. Nice. All right, so I have a four plus one plus one. Because okay. I have a uh, range dodge of four plus one plus my uh, sidestep. Sidestep. Okay. Seven. Six. Six. What did I have? Did I have a seven? I think you had a six. You, you had a seven. Yeah, did you have seven. a seven? Yeah. I'm spending yeah. another stamina point. Okay. So you bump it up. Yeah, and I have one stamina point left. All right, so which direction are you seven. sidestepping? Oh, north? I said already, I already declared north. Okay. Step. All right, so you live. You're very sneaky, extremely <laughs> sneaky. Stealthy. All right, Dre. All right, here we go. Get this guy out, Dre, so we can get him. Okay, so I, I aimed. Okay. Which is plus one. Yep. Um, It's a three plus one. So it's really a three plus two because uh because the aim it, yep because my aim a, and then it's a minus two because of your wounds right so it's just a three three die okay three die here we go woo five of course okay and so this guy has a range dodge um of uh, okay his reflexes is three. And he's got a range dodge skill of one, but he has been wounded, so he's minus one. So he just has three dice. And what was yours, Dre? A five? Yep. Five, okay. Five, five, five. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> the bullets go flying past. Ah. Uh, okay, so. I have no stamina. All right, so you're. Okay. You're, the car is gone. This guy is. He's blasted out of town. Um, this guy is going to go one, two, three. He's moving up on you, Dre. Of course he is. So here I come. What are you doing? Um, can, can you just camp, Dre, and ambush? Well, he's he's going to step up on her for assumedly a melee attack. So right, he's coming for you. Right, but I thought ambush meant like as soon as she gets like a. She's basically an Overwatch, right? Yeah, Maybe but that would be the, for the following turn. Oh, for the following. Okay. So he's coming, Dre. Are you staying put? Um, I mean, I mean, I'm, th I'm thinking. Does he have like? I don't know anything about. Have we seen him do a melee yet? Yeah, they have combat knives. Combat knives. Yeah, and it was like a three dice. It wasn't like particularly. Um... Yeah, I mean he he does have he has a four dice melee combat attack, so it's a four dice plus one, but the damage oh. is only two. I mean, two damage would kill me. Oh, he can't actually get all the way there. Saved by the chat. Is that Wait, what is it? We can't cut the corner when there's an object in the way. Oh. So the most he can do is one, two, three. Oh, we screwed here. that up then because didn't I cut the corner? I think you might have cut a corner like before, but warehouse. you're gelatinous, you know. You can squeeze in a. Two inch. All right, so he's he's gonna go one, two, three. And he's gonna okay. get here. Where are you guys? Great. I am gonna go. Well, first of all, can I see Micken now? You can. Through the window. He's what cowering. He's cowering next to the door. He's cowering next to the door. Does it? Does he have any weapons or anything on? Yeah, him he anything? is armed. Um, well, I don't know if I can see it. I just mean can I? See but yeah, he has a he has one of those assault rifles with him. Okay. But you know he's 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 pretty much behind a locked door waiting it out. Can I tell what the what the window is made out of? Um, no, I mean it just looks like glass. All right, I'm uh staying put and aiming. Okay. Okay. 
if I move here, James, would I, I won't have a, I won't have line of sight on him. Correct. So I have one, two, three, four. You can't do oh, that. Wait, I can't do that. Yep. So wait, I could do one, two, three, four, five though. Sure. And that puts me in line of sight with him. Yep. I'll do that. Okay, so you're declaring there. Dre is aiming. Yep. And then, okay, during action phase, this guy is firing on Dre. Okay. Uh, can you move me, though, James? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, maybe I need to reset. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I ran, that phone ran out of batteries. <laughs> oh, I forgot to plug it in. All right, chat. Well, we have been playing for two and a half hours. Yeah, uh, right? chat, we'll, we'll be back in just one uh We'll be back in just one second. Actually, you know what? We're just going to play with this map. Because as soon as you take this guy out, uh -huh. we're, you know, I assume you're going to move on to interrogation. Uh -huh. uh, which is talking to this guy. Okay. So I don't think we're going to need the, the tactical map. Okay. So I think we're okay. So Mike, you're right here. Yes, I'm, I'll just keep my mouse there. Okay. All right, so let's let's uh, let's close up the actions then. Dre, you I wanna... am going to fire my Phoenix pistol. Okay, this guy. guy's firing at Andrea. Uh, I'm firing at him. Okay. And um, all right, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll roll first. Yeah, go for him. So ranged attack for me is um, uh, fi firearms four plus one. Okay. So I got a six. And then this guy has a dodge of three with a melee dodge of one, but he's minus one. So it's just three straight dice. Okay. You hit him. Got him. Great. No armor piercing, I do three damage. Three damage, no armor piercing. So one, two damage get through. And he is now uh, critically, critically injured. injured. So he has one hit point uh, left. And then, Andre, you want to shoot him? Yep. Okay. Of course you do. Okay. So, it's a three die plus one. Plus two, minus two. Right. So, it's just three straight die. Three straight die. Here we go. Gosh. Okay. So, it's a four. You have been just. I know. Did you do any recreational drugs before you came on this? <laughs> well, you are wounded. Maybe you, uh. you, maybe you picked up some of that sweet weird narcoloid spaz drug that uh, <laughs> off of a suspect earlier in, i think uh time. maybe my partner has some toxic slime he maybe. leaves behind all right so <laughs> this guy does a range dodge he's got three reflex dice um and he's got a range dodge of one but when this round started he was a minus one so it's just three straight range dre you have a four yes he had a five but he has a minus one but he had a plus one, minus one. Oh. Yeah, he has a range dodge of one. And you have no more one. stamina. Uh, Wait, what is – he's critically, right? No, he, no he's not. Yeah, Mike, Mike did it in this. Mike did it this oh, round. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, but, oh, 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 yeah. God, you got the chat. The guy's got, yeah, the guy's got I know. The Thanks a lot. Two shots at him. Yep, you got it before – yes, <laughs> he did. He said, remember uh, focus fire for Andreas. Focus you get a fire. bonus one, and you do get through. So um, that will be enough to kill him. Nice. Uh, but he will not die until he has Focus his chance fire. to shoot until at you. Until he gets the chance to fire back. And so, um, all right. So he's doing a firearms check, which three reference dice, and that's it. It's just three reference dice. Or it's okay. reflex dice, excuse me. So here we go. He rolls a four. That's about as good as you could hope for. So what's, what's your dodge? uh what doesn't it isn't it minus something yeah but did you did you decide you were gonna um react maybe and yeah no i'm i'm asking like he rolls it's and just, it's minus it, it's a four at you and you do a ma you do a range dodge which is right. your okay. reflex score but it's gonna be minus two right so i'm going to react okay to get an additional plus one right okay so, so which which way would you dive prone uh, yeah, I'm diving away. Yeah, this way. Okay, 
All right. So you, you're going to dive prone in that direction, which then essentially right. gives you what? A minus. You have a minus two for your wounds. You have a plus one for your range dodge and another plus one for your reaction. Right. So it's three die. just a yep, regular three die. You survived. You got a five. Holy a moly. Okay. So kill him. And he's gone. He's dead. Okay. All right. Okay. So now um, we're, I guess, we're in free, rain, free movement. Yeah. So that guy, so you get your stamina back. That guy okay. has essentially locked himself in this office. And okay. you have an opportunity to, um, you know, given how poorly things went for the rest of the gang, he is interested in potentially speaking. Okay. Well, I think... Gray, you're probably the better one. Yeah, but at the same time, one. I think I should heal myself one more time. Oh. So I don't have such negative impact on my rolls sure okay okay before before we do anything sounds good wait what's your what is your ability check to to do the med kit um so my med kit what do you roll i roll a biotech which is biotech, three yeah. three die plus one okay my biotech is a four die oh so I also have minus two on skill checks right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal her. Is that uh, allowable, James? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna heal Dre, so I get a straight four roll. Okay. What do I have to roll for the medikit? Uh, it's just a, a check of three. So it's a biotech. Ooh. It's your biotech biotech skill and you just have to get a it's a fixed test at three oh, so if you get, get three, or three or higher yep i passed okay so that raises dre's back up to what minorly wounded whatever it's called um moderate moderately wounded so you're at minus one skill can i heal her again i have two medicates sure yeah if you want to i'm gonna heal her again healed Here. oh awesome i'm back to normal right you're lightly wounded though yeah, yeah, lightly like wounded, wounded, not healthy. Okay, so you're you've exhausted, I think, all of your kits, or Dre, do you still have one left? Are all gone. Yeah, Mike used his two. And you have one left. I have one left. Okay, all right. So, um, the the guy Micken is in there, and he is open to conversation. So, how do you guys want to proceed? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little chat with him. Okay. Yeah, I think you should. I mean, you can. What can you do? Like intimidate him or something, or smooth talk him, try to persuade him to do something. What what would he? How do we handle this? So the way that it works is you can you can do a you can attempt to persuade him. Uh, so then you do a fixed persuasion check against his discern motive um, mm. skill. So he's trying to essentially he's he's trying to figure out if you're telling him the truth or not. And so Dre has, you have to look at your persuasion um, ability. It's a four die plus one. And then you can choose if you want to try diplomacy, bluffing, or intimidating. And if you do diplomacy, mm -hmm. every time you succeed, it only increases the posture of the character by one. So diplomacy is kind of the slowest way to convince somebody of something. Right. If you fail, it will reduce his posture by one. It won't. It will. It will. Yeah. Okay. What and, uh is that just a like a check three or more? No, it's a check against their uh, discern uh, motive Whatever, skill. Discern let me skills. let me look in what his discern okay. motive skill is. You you shouldn't tell us that, should you? It doesn't matter. Um. Oh no, it's actually I have to um, I'll have to roll. Yeah. Okay. Well, um. So. Um, with diplomacy, I get a plus two to my persuasion checks. Okay. So I would roll four die and it would be a plus three total. Okay. Yeah. So we could slow play it. Yeah. I mean, essentially you're trying to, you're Ooh, trying to chat with oh, him. Wow. 
Yeah, you get plus two for um wow, you get plus two as persuasion just diplomacy. Wow. For fast right. talker. Okay, cool. Okay, so what do you want to say to him? I would try and Oh, we have to figure it out. Yeah, I mean what are you trying to tell him? Well, we, we need to know his source, right? Um, so obviously, I think the idea would be, hey, um, you should surrender and come in with us, right? Give, you know, that's the first thing, right? We got to get him to surrender. Come yeah, with I'm us. gonna, I'm gonna be like, hey, brother, realm. Yeah. yeah. I would do that. I'd get him to surrender and then just talk with us. We want to find out what happened tonight. You know, something along those. But get him out. Get him to open the door and to give up his weapons. Let's try that out. Maybe surrender. Okay. So, Dre, you going to do your... What do you think, Dre? Um, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. okay. So, you're going to roll your dice, and he's going to do his discern motive. Okay. So, you want to go first? So... Yeah, I have a four die. Here it comes. <laughs> well, you got a plus three, so you rolled a seven. A seven, right? Because you're doing diplomacy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so he gets Does four dice. wounded reduce her roll? No. Okay. No. All right, so he got a four. So you, you succeeded. He, he says, okay, well, that makes sense, yeah, but I want to be sure that I'm not going to go away for the rest of my life for this. Oh, well, I mean, we should probably offer him some kind of a deal, right? I mean, he's not going away for his entire life, right? All he did was sell arms. I mean, he didn't attack us. He actually ran and hid. So it was his guys who attacked us. So he said, now you can try out the weapons. Eh, I don't know. I'd be willing to overlook that. He didn't actually fire at us. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Offer him a deal. Well, um we can take care of you and make sure that you don't get punished to a certain extent. I'm also doing this telepathically. So <laughs> oh, right. Hear. Yeah. So he can't <laughs> hear. Yeah. Right. I think also technically aren't, aren't you like unable to persuade? Like, aren't, aren't you just I'm like a, an influencer. unthinking blob? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like I'm the, apparently I'm the worst, the worst race uh, to try and influence anybody. So, um, all right. So, what are you telling them? You're 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 the diplomacy okay. expert here. What, what are you so, telling uh, them? So, okay, are we are we talking with uh you know our intercom friends back at the base? You can you could you could call Sedge if you want to. Uh, can we ask Sedge, like, what we can offer? Or are we just gonna make stuff up, Mike? Um, I'll I'll I can call Sedge real quick. Um, while you talk to him, keep, keep, I don't know, um, say that we're working on it or something like that. If we have to give him an answer right now, say that we're working on it, you know, um, that tell him, hey, it was great that he didn't fire on us, that he took cover. Something along those lines. Yeah. Placated. I'll call Sedge and see what he says. All right. I'll tell him, uh, we just want to talk. We're, what are we going to say? Yeah. We're working on on his uh his arrangement yep we're on his side we'll call him back to base and yeah, work it out for him let him know because we're doing it all right yeah so, yeah. so you so you do the diplomacy check against my discern motive because okay i'm gonna see if i can suss out if you're telling me the truth here so that's an eight yeah good roll you rolled two sixes so that's an eight also uh, but you you met or exceeded, so we also got our stamina back. Yeah. So, uh, so he says, okay, yeah. Uh, Oops, sorry. <laughs> you talk you talk to the bosses, but uh, I'm not I'm not seeing. There's no way that I'm gonna see the inside of a cell for this. I need to know that that uh, that your guys are gonna let me walk. Okay. Well, I call Sedge. What does he say? I'm gonna give Sedge an update on what happened. Full right. update. So, so I tell Sedge that we. We ended up um, killing two gang members. One escaped the leader in a car, but we were we've currently got Micken pinned down in a room, and we're trying to negotiate with him. He's agreed to surrender, but he doesn't want to see jail time for what happened. So we're trying to work out a deal that we can take him down. Easily. So Sedge tells you that 
getting to the source is far more important than any bust that you're going to pull on Micken. Okay. So tell him that you'd be willing to let him turn and work as a, as a source for you and try to go up the chain. Uh, and then he can, he has to come back with you to base, but he's not going to see any jail time for it. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Dre, I'm mentally telepathically. Yep. I heard that in my, <laughs> my ear <laughs> intercom. All right. I'm telling, I'm telling our dude all that. Okay. Great. So you, you got to do another, you got to do another roll here. Here we go. And all that. <laughs> so you got a two plus three. So it's a five. How many stamina points can she spend? Stamina can she spend them after you roll, James? I'm not sure. So I, I would mean, have I would have a seven. I have spent two. Spend them. We've. What does the chat say? Can so what you points? what you can do what I what I would potentially allow here, Mike, is a essentially assist via resourcefulness. Oh. If you want to attempt to help in this situation, oh, does that give me a bonus? And um, if you th if you think there's something that you could do to assist, uh, Micken starts to kind of hem and haw and says, "I don't trust anything that comes out of your mouth unless I hear it from the top." Hmm. I'm looking through my skills here real quick to see if I've got anything. And there is there is a resourcefulness um, under knowledge. There's actually a resourcefulness oh. skill on your character sheet. There is? Yeah, it's under the knowledge subheading, towards the bottom. Oh, I'm looking for it. Right above infiltration. It's like in the in your in your standard skills. Which it should be. Uh where all the I see where, character features. No, no, no. Like in in combat, physical, vehicle, perception, knowledge, infiltration, social, all the different oh, types I have of roles. Resourcefulness. Resourcefulness, yeah. yeah. Oh, so if I you see. so if you can think of something that you feel like you could actually do here, you can roll a resourcefulness check to to, to assist. See if I can influence. Yeah. And feel like, well, okay, fine. I do. I do feel like there's something I can do. Okay. I spoke with the boss personally. Um, he assured me that. Um, He's not going to get jail time for this. Uh, what my boss wants is for him to come in and have a conversation with him so we can talk about things. But no jail time for what happened. So it's just going to be my trying to convince him about that. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. So roll your resourcefulness. Okay. So I got a five. Okay. He's going to roll his same. Can I spend stamina points? I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know the rule. Okay. Oh, Omol pers Persuasion. Now he gets to roll one die. Oh, yeah, I was doing it. Oh, that's funny, because what's your Persuasion skill, Mike? One? Um, I'm looking for it. Yeah, it's a one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, the chat's not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say. I uh, so so if he's talking, he has to roll Influence. So so you you have to actually roll the persuasion you have to roll influence die you can't roll the resourcefulness so i i tried to let you get away with it but i have to real i have to roll social die yeah so you got to roll the one influence die let's see okay. if you can see if you can sa salvage this situation. you only have a one i guess people don't trust blobs yeah big big money big money big money Ooh, <laughs> it's the okay. same. all right let's see he, and he's gonna see if he if, you're, if he thinks you're telling the truth <laughs> He, he says, there's no, there's no way that I would trust this emotionless blob with my life. Uh, mm -hmm. And his, his, uh, he, he's starting to get kind of cagey here. I'm going to check the door. But he's still, but he's still, um, he, he's still talking. He's not, he's not ready to blast away. Dre, continue to influence him. Yeah, I'm going to check the door and see, see what's Hold going on. on. What is my other... Uh... So on the the two checks that went positive for me, mm -hmm. he uh, his it, posture it, his posture increases by one. Okay. So, so what you, happens for the failed one? It, it goes down by one when you're doing okay. diplomacy, but when right. you're doing, if you were to try to like say an intimidate, an intimidate is a risk reward where you get a plus three posture if you succeed, but a okay. minus three posture if you fail. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep chatting, just well, telling him the you, same thing. 
Dre, you get a plus one to intimidate. So right. you're scarred. So you could get a technically a plus four, right? Or plus three if you use your scarred ability. Because you get fast talker is plus two. And then plus one for uh, Is the fast talker only when you're doing diplomacy or is it all persuasion? Yeah, it's only in diplomacy. I know it says plus two persuasion slash diplomacy. Yeah, yeah but I think when you you're doing... doing diplomacy. What? There's like three different types of persuasion. Diplomacy, intimidation, or bluffing. So oh, the plus two mean... is, is only when you're I'm doing sorry. Yeah, oh, the I diplomacy. See. I, I get it. I but up. the intimidate, you do have a plus one. So you, you, you could attempt to intimidate him if you wanted to go that route. Let's see if you can get a big, a big hit. I mean, how much more do we have to uh, persuade him? It, based on your kind of feeling of the situation, it seemed like he was on like a razor's edge of going with you until that damn gelatinous blob stepped in and, and just messed it all up. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to keep I going and telling him the same story. Keep persuading him the same way. Okay. So so, right, so Dre's going to try some more diplomacy on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't I don't want to threaten him. That, Might be uh backwards. Oh, I lost Mike. Okay. Okay, so you're going to try to test the door. Mike, Dre just lost you, so do, do an F5 for me and you'll pop back in. Um, Mike's going to test the door while you're chatting. So, Mike, you're going to take a chance to test the door. Mm, you fine with that? Okay, who's going first? Well, I mean, it will all, it'll all happen at the same time. Here's my roll. Ooh, so Dre, Dre has nice. a six. Plus what, three? That's a nine? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's like, all right, all right. You know, he's obviously getting really tired of being in there and getting a little bit um, nervous about if he delays this too long, if you guys are going to kill him. Um, but he's still not willing to, to oh walk my out gosh. of that room. Um, Mike, you're trying to open the door? Yeah, I'm just testing it. I'm not trying to open it. All right, so do a stealth check drive. for me. So I have a four plus one, and then... Um, that's it. Four plus one. So, do I have my die set? Yep. Oh, I have to re-add them to the bag. My bad. Oh boy. So it's a four plus what? Uh, four plus one, five. Okay. So he's going to. You're essentially going against his awareness. He didn't notice. Mm. Was the door open? The door is locked. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. So, Dre, you going to try again? Here we go. Okay. He, so close. Yeah, he's you know. he's sweating bullets in there, you can tell. Yeah, I know it. Mm. You can, you Helping him out him. here. All right, so Ooh. that's a six. Plus three, nine. Plus nine. two sixes. Yeah, but you had well, a minus you one, one there. One. Oh, I did. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he agrees, finally. He says, all right, you know what? It's getting late. I'm too old for this shit. There's no reason for me to die today. I got to go to my high school kid's graduation this weekend. Uh, so he's willing to open up the door, and he's willing to chat with you. And he's willing to give you some information, but you have to make a final test to see what he actually tells you. Okay. What, he, what he gives up. Hmm. Uh, now let's see. Let me figure out here for a second. Well, chances are Drake should be making the test on this. Is this a resourcefulness test? No, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. Hold on. I'm just trying to figure out the best way that I want to try to do it. Hmm. All right, so we're just going to do a persuasion check the same way you were, Dre. So you're going to chat with him with your persuasion skill. And okay. And we're going to see um, what you are able to glean off him. So uh, is this a certain type of persu persuasion skill? Um, yeah, I would say just use a diplomacy. Okay. And um, it's a fixed test. 
So he doesn't roll against you. It's not an opposed test. Oh, okay. Here we go. Woo! So that's a seven? seven. Uh, yes. All right. So you were able to chat with him, and you got a contact list including numbers and actual names of several high-profile criminals, though the contact for this job is unnamed and unlisted. So you got some names of other people, but you did not get names for this particular job. Hmm. So you say, um, okay, I mean, that's good enough for his end uh, in terms of proving that he's willing to give you some information. And, um, and then you guys uh, throw him in the back of your car and bring him back to headquarters. Nice. All right. So Woo! you got a partial mission success. Oh, partial. The Union Guard is pleased to hear of your team's success in preventing the smugglers from escaping with the RF-60s. Your OS, Reg, uh, contacts you, and a hologram of his familiar face appears. Nice oh, work. Reg. This mission was a partial success, though we now learn that several RF-60s were in the trunks of the skim cars, including the car that the gang leader used to escape. It is a grave concern that our stabilization technology has fallen outside UG possession. We may be seeing our tech in the weapons of outlaws in the near future. However, you provided us with very useful intel through Micken. We're glad you were able to capture him alive. We have enough actionable intel that we can deliver a powerful blow to their smuggling operation. Though we would have liked to know who Duthal was working for and where the smugglers were taking the contraband. Thank you for your service. Your team will receive good marks in my report. There you go. So, Hooray! What would have partial happened? success. Partial success. So what you would have, what you, mean, would have, you would have gotten. So like if we were playing continued campaign here, you would have gotten some um, weaponry. Some weapon. You actually okay. would have gotten one of these RF sixty assault rifles as kind of a perk, um, and then been given some experience bonuses based actually on what happens in the mission. So oh. um, there's little bonuses for things like defeating the drone without alerting the people in the warehouse. Um, like, so if you were able to sneak up on it and like melee attack it or, you know, whatever. Um, and then, so you would, you guys would have gotten a bunch of, a bunch of bonus stuff and then all players vote for the best player. And then they get a, uh, they get one award point and, um, and they get a hero point as well. So they what if I voted points. for myself and Mike voted for himself? Then I would, I guess, break the tie. And I oh, for, the wounded person uh, who just healed the, himself. The gang leader. <laughs> Yeah. Gang Although I, I may have healed you, Dre, you won with all the influence. There would have been no possibility of winning this. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been a pretty rough. Um, oh yeah, with I Mike's one die. Place. Yeah, you you, you wouldn't have been died. able to chat at all. You, you would have just would have had to kill him. You would have just looked at him. Yeah. yeah. Um. So um. I actually was attempting. Uh, I didn't get to do it though. I was hoping I could get this guy far enough here that the gang leader ran him over. But he didn't have enough movement. He, oh. was, he, was, he was moving away from you, Mike, after you stabbed him. But he, mm. he only got the two movements, so he got to here. And he didn't get far enough. I was going to have the gang leader run him down on his way out the door. But <laughs> did, why, why, why? So that he well, because he was just trying to escape. Yeah, I, I, I was just going to do it as kind of a, a, a funny you know, element in the game. Uh, um, so, okay, so what did you guys think? Well, I thought it was really fun. I liked the... Um... You know, at first I thought maybe the rules might be because there's so many different checks and everything like that. I thought it might be difficult to understand, but it actually isn't. Um, the four plus one plus one, whatever it is, or three, you know, whatever you got. I mean, I thought that that was really simple to understand. So in terms of the game mechanics standpoint, uh, I, I feel like the rules were easy to learn. Um, and then it's, it's really creative. I mean, it's kind of like this, it's almost like this kind of, Pulp fiction, but set in this science fiction alien world, right? And um, characters all seem pretty neat and got different talents and abilities. So I, I really enjoyed it. I had a blast. Yeah, and there were there are a bunch of mechanics that we we didn't do as part of this mission. So there's like some hacking mechanics, which are pretty oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, as player characters, you did have the option to hack in through the the garage door in the front, mm. which would have kind of like activated the hacking mini game. Um, but I was gonna shy away from that this this round so i didn't have characters that had the ability to do that for this mission um okay. but then there's also vehicular combat uh that can be on much larger scale so this is kind of like a close-up mission but there can be city scale or like kind of battlefield type scale uh missions as well there's kind of rule sets for all that stuff 
Um, on my end, it was a little bit tricky uh, just because I've never done anything like this before. So just sort of like managing, I probably should, I'm, I'm using an iPad on my end of like the mission. I, mm. I should have done more breaking stuff out into like paper and notes. Uh, that would sure. help me a little bit so I didn't have to sort of flail around a little I bit. I got but, my papers here. Yeah, you got the papers on your own. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I thought it was, um, I thought it was good. Obviously it, I, I think it played pretty well via um vorpal board like sure. i mean it's just you guys got to see the map essentially yeah um but um but yeah i, know, I, thought, I, I thought it was cool i didn't do my my cards very well yeah you were not really using the cards <laughs> <laughs> mike was always like flipping his cards and then you were just like nah no not doing it yeah too focused on your diary all you were doing was and, and you know like i think i skipped some of the rules here and there um uh, either out of just forgetting or uh, or sort of trying to just sort of scale things so it sure. so it worked. It did it did really suck that Dre took that bullet right out of the gate. Uh, yeah, because that, that kind of limited vicious. your guys' uh, strategy once you got into. Yeah, the right. That's yeah, that's one of the reasons why the probably the gang leader got away. Um, yeah, yeah. I did like too. I mean, you only have to what scan those three cards once everything else is immediately available so right. um that speeds up the gameplay for vorpal board um, oh yeah yeah i mean this one you just you lay your stuff out on the table and you're pretty much ready to go and then you're pretty much ready to go which right. i think is, is solid i mean that makes for a, um, an easier game process which is nice yeah Ray, what about you what do you think yeah i mean i uh i feel like my character has skills that weren't really used mm. and so i i kind of wish that you know we had an opportunity to use some of them, but I mean, you learn your character, I guess. Yeah. So, you, save the day too. Um, you know, you're the one who relin to relin, right? Yeah. Um, selling, uh, selling to Micken, you know, what the answer was. I mean, gosh, I would have been a disaster. Trying well, to... it's interesting, Mike, because yeah. I, I thought, I thought you were going to fire on him through the glass. Mm -hmm. and, tempted to. and then and, and then that would have been the end of of conversation really uh mm -hmm. and then it, you, you you can go down a path of trying to like grapple him and subdue him and then interrogating him that way so like there's a lot of branching opportunities here with your guys character mix it seemed like it was logical to try to get yeah. dre, dre to do the yeah. the interrogation Just or the um talking. the persuasion yeah you know? mm -hmm. right um so cool all right yeah um, so a, a, a big thanks to um, Andy Mitchell who hooked me up with all the little miniatures as well. Um, they're available. Uh, you can go to solarechoes.com and take a look. Uh, he has like um, the miniature designs on one of the 3D printing websites that you can get your cool. hands on. Um, and, um, and so you can get really cool minis and paint them. And then uh, you can get all his books uh, either on, on DriveThruRPG. I, I think they're on Amazon as well in physical form. And then you can check out solarechoes.com. Um, there's the player guide, and then there's, I think, some other expansion sets and stuff. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, the, we use some custom characters that he built specifically for this kind of vorpal board live play. And you can grab those on DriveThruRPG as well. Um, and so thanks a lot for him uh, also hanging out in chat the whole time and kind of like helping yeah. me guide, guide me through the mission a little bit. Um, he thinks, oh, he actually, he mentioned... He mentioned that he was in super impressed with me. I want to put that out there at first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going to laugh at that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, but Andrea and Mike handled the mission well and used a very careful tactical approach that worked out for them in the end. Uh, two versus four were tough odds, and they still succeeded. Um, so that's the thing. I, I could have, since this was my first time doing it, I didn't know how much to scale the enemy counts um, mm. versus the player counts because this can go all the way up to six. So I actually pulled out one of the gang members um, but I don't know. It might have been more even if we'd have pulled out another one um, to make it a two verse three instead of a two verse four. Yeah, so. I mean, this is my first uh, any type first, of game like this. Yeah. So first role playing game for Dre and me and oh, Mike. Yeah, nice. big deal. The last right. time Mike and I, Mike, Mike and I are brothers, uh, the last time we played, I mean, I was probably eight. <laughs> uh, I Maybe. mean, it was at, at most I was um, 11. Yeah. Well, so, so so yeah, seven eight so, yeah, for me. Yeah, so seven or eight. And that was how far you guys have come. D second edition where yeah. they had encumbrance. Yeah, encumbrance, baby. <laughs> the encumbrance rules. I do think we created some characters for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles role playing we game, but we never we never played. <laughs> we were we were obsessed with with creating the characters, but yeah. we didn't really have a DM. 
so you know we would always just like build the characters and then just like never do anything with yeah them. our older brother was he was typically gerard who was typically the dm but then he obviously is two years older than me so you know he's 14 you know when i was 12 so the likelihood of him, him wanting to dm got low, lower and lower so but yeah but yeah, anybody who's interested, check out the Solar Echo stuff. Um, Andy, uh, like I mentioned, is, is going to have some stuff, um, some project announcements, I think, coming out soon um, relating to the Solar Echoes universe. So follow him on all the social media and stuff to hear about those. And um, thanks so much to everyone who hung out tonight. Um, and as far as Vorpal Board is concerned, we are on Kickstarter currently. If you're interested in this platform and you think it would be cool to be able to play uh, tabletop role-playing games in this fashion, just go check us out on uh, Kickstarter mm-hmm. or um, vorpalboard.com. You can hook up on our mailing list. We are very um, controlled with our mailing list. We only, we only hit people up like once a month, um, and it's just all the news on what we have going. So if you're interested, um, please sign up there. And um, next week, we'll be back at it streaming some more board games, I think – we might do Gloomhaven next week. What say Ooh, you, Andrea? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if we can do a Gloomhaven session next week because that's that's kind of the the our bread and butter um, and one That'd of the awesome. one of the reasons that we built this thing. So um, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out for our, our streams next week. And thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks, guys. Great Take to care, see you. everybody. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Good night. Thanks Adios. for all the help. Yep. Good night. <laughs>